uh, monument of condolences. Head to the port city of Drishu and meet with Yang Yang. Uh, is do that. It's not very far from here. Um, yeah, right there. We can teleport. Let's go, season two. Yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't really paid attention if it's like officially been announced. I, I would have to check it out. Oh, hey, Yoho is here too. Well, well, look who I bumped into, a Midnight Ranger. Okay. Rover, you found here. So you're the Rover, huh? Delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Yohu from Jinjo. Like Mr. Champi, she's an expert in antiques. That's me. What brings an antiques expert here? To uncover clues about the hidden antiques, of course. Since Mount Firmament reopened, Master and I noticed artifacts from there popping up in the market. Aside from quotes of Savante Gadget, there are still plenty of mystery items that don't exactly scream Mount Firmament, you know. So? So? So I'm betting they're from the port city of Drishu. I received a message from Yang Yang. Okay. What's that about? Yes, I remember you mentioned uh, wanting to learn more about your past ties to the Black Shores. The battle in Northfall Barrens is over and the Black Shores should be withdrawing. But if asked the Midnight Ranger to monitor the area around the port city of Rishu, I thought this might be your chance to gather more information about them. I'm touched you remember what I said. Indeed. Indeed! You uh, brought it up before. Eh? She's like, oh, I see what's going on. Ah, uh, Yang Yang's got a soft spot for you, huh? Are you her special someone? She didn't say no. She didn't say no. Come on, I, I just know it means a lot to you. Relax, I'm just teasing. So, Kitty, you're tracking the Black Shores too. Um, I still have this Blake Bloom that Alto gave me. They should leave me to them, right? Flower! She's like, hmm? You're also planning to go to cinema again somewhere in October 10th because I suppose they're going to be showing new My Hero Academia movie. Oh, right, right, right. Since we're on the same trail, how about teaming up? Sure. Let this master be your guide. You and me, dream team. Nothing is going to slow us down. That's a little dramatic, to say the least. Okay. Not to boast, but epic adventurers tend to have a way of finding me. Since Wolf is here, let's talk to that bloom bearer first. Okay. The bloom bearer? Oh, she's a member of the Black Shore. Oh, she is. That's weird. These parameters are correct, but nothing's happening. What's going on? Are you a bloom bearer from Black Shores? Yes, need something. Oh, so you're the one all too invited earlier. The one and only. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't recognize you. Golden pupils in this blame blue. This blade bloom, sorry. It's all. It's you, right? I'm Nia, a bloom bearer from the Black Shores. Didn't expect to meet someone as important as you under these circumstances. I know it's unusual, but could you help me out now that we're working together? Hold on, I haven't decided if I want to join the Black Shores. Really? But the Inko mentioned you'd be joining soon. Um, can you explain what's going on first? Actually, we're monitoring abnormal parameters and detected a problematic frequency that needs to be taken back to the Black Shores. The port city of Rishu was decimated by the lament. If this frequency goes unchecked, it could trigger another catastrophe. Are the stakes really that high? Yes, that's why the TZ system sent us to locate and recover this frequency as soon as possible to prevent a potential disaster. Our agents relayed the coordinates, but since then I've lost contact with them, which doesn't sit well. I'm stuck here monitoring. I can't leave my post. Do you think you could help check out what happened? If things aren't looking good, we might need to inform Jinju City Hall like we did before. We will need to act fast then. Did you do the polls for the new characters here? No, I haven't done them yet. I'll, I'll be pulling later. As a worst case scenario, if contained the frequency as the Tesis system advises, nothing bad will happen. Kitty, I want to help her. As an outrider, it's my duty to safeguard the peace. Uh, you're right, we can't just sit this out, true. 
Thank you. It's reassuring to have a midnight ranger with us. I'll send you the coordinates of the abnormal frequency. By the way, what do you mean by abnormal frequency? Indeed. Could be the reverberations of something in the solar spheres. In solaris, frequencies can be anything. One thing's for sure, though. This frequency represents gravity. It's abnormal because it has its own gravitational center. You should be able to feel a palpable anomaly near it. That's how you can locate it. I trust you'll handle it smoothly, but remember, your safety matters most. Don't hesitate to retreat if you run into any real danger. And once you're back, we'll hurry to the Black Shores to upload you to the Tessie system. Oh, I forgot you haven't been to the Black Shores, have you? Uh, not yet, at least. No worries, I'll be your guide then. Oh, lovely. Okay, before we actually jump into this real quick. I'm pretty sure there's been like a treasure chest around here that I haven't gotten yet. Or oh, have I? My, I don't remember. Oh, well, whatever. You know what? Ignore what I said. Let's go back here. Uh, oh, I can't fast travel because I have Yohu in the team, apparently. Um, okay, um, control. Switch to member four. There we go. Oh, look at her! Oh, she's cute, dude. I like her. She seems so complicated to use, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you can like do a, a chain attack, I guess. Alright. Yeah, my brain is not keeping up. I sense the presence of Tessa Discord below. Oh, indeed, we can see them from here. They're all red and shit. Oh, she has an, like a new special bar. What is going on? Oh, so here you choose which one you want. I guess I'll go with D. Yeah, I don't know. Her gameplay seems so weird. I need to like figure it out. All right, it's going. Oh, sh are they okay? What? Look for survivors, quick! Hayaku, Hayaku! Are they dead? It's too late. So they the agent Ni I was waiting for. What happened here? What indeed? Yokoso, welcome. Astro Modulator, the rover itself. We have awaited this reunion for a long time. What? We? Yes, we. Oh, she's also a member of the Black Shore. Oh, or he, or they. They are also a member of the Black Shore. We are the gravitational force you seek. Time is running out. Hoda. My name is Hoda. This is my name. I once lived under it as a bloom bearer. Is this you doing with the bloom bearers? You. Which one of us are you talking to? Men or women? Elders or children? Do you hear the echoes of a lament? Remember. 
remember it all. Remember your past, the past you turn your back on, the past is one of the black shores. And respond, respond to the promises you made, to the future we're bound to share. Salvation is forging a world where savings no longer needed. No, they want you to become a part of them. I can't let it happen. Run, kitty. Run! What you seek is on this girl. She has it. Eh? What's any of this have to do with me? You have had no luck getting Shawkeeper yet, but you're not giving up hope. I believe in you. I'm sure you can get her. Where did it go? No, wait. Don't go over there, kitty. Um, it must be the abnormal frequency the Black Shores once recovered. Indubitably. The remaining frequency there is in extreme chaos. It's dangerous. Hey, what's happening? It's starting to glow. It must be from the Black Shores. Look at this. A mysterious object pulses with rhythmic lights, seemingly harboring some form of frequency. It's a data chip. Data chip it is! I need to learn more about this thing. My master and I guess it's from the Black Shores, and now it looks like we're right. The abnormal frequency definitely links to the death of those bloom bearers. Now it's hiding in these objects, but I can still feel its strong attachment to the Black Shores. Solving the issue is beyond our capabilities. Besides, they also mention Wolver and the fall of the port city of Grishu. We should meet with that bloom bearer first to explain the situation. This is best left to the experts. All ten pulls done so far, got plenty to get her, hopefully soon too. Hmm, nice. You're right, we need to keep her informed. Indeed. Let's go, Kitty. I've but I have a bad feeling about this. I sense it's more to this amid stuff. Positive Grisha must hold secrets waiting to be discovered. As the group moves forward, Yang Yang informs the midnight rangers of the situation. Okay. Let's go. Oh, butterfly! Shockkeeper! Uh, she's like, you helped her, but not me, huh? Rude. Oh, sheesh! <gasps> That's my girl! Welcome home. Okay, let's Okay, The wandering traveler, Kitty. At least you have at last you have returned. Here the story both ends and begins anew. I am pleased to see you back on these shores. Wherever you venture, be it Huanglong or Winasita, we will always be here, waiting. No matter how far you wander, you will always find me here on these black shores. That's my wife! You're only so far into this new story, past this point somewhere. Fair enough. Fair enough. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, new area. The butterfly across the seas. I wonder where is it? Can can we actually see it on the map? No. Oh yeah, it's all the way east here. Okay, very cool. We do have a teleportation point. Let's go deeper into the cave. Oh! Hey! New stuff! Sea fly trap! Naruhodo. Azure lizard. Eh? 
Um, not like this. There we go. Loot mapa. Nya -nya. Okay. Am I really stuck to the wall? There we go. Dude! <laughs> oh yeah, Kitty, keep that sure. Will do. Shuya Kenko. Fly trap treasure chest more fly trap over there okay how are you doing Tsukasa? let's see I'm hoping I don't fail the 50 50 if so I hope I get the character I need fair enough nice chest thank you I made it myself Oh look, it's the it's the Blake Bloom. Awesome. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Finally hmm. out of the cave. But why is this fuck still so thick? I can't even see you. Because you're at Veiled Rock, your vision is veiled. Now how about explaining what brings you here, and invited guests? What? K Kitty? <laughs> I love how it just went like, oh, oh shit, it's you. Okay, never mind. Uh, let me go back to not being a fuckboy. <laughs> ah, dude. Is it really you? No, no, don't let this be a dream. At last, you've come to me, to the Black Shores. Wait, what? This is the Black Shores? Precisely. But how did you manage to get here? You recount to alter the event that led to your arrival here. I see. The situation doesn't look good. That Hoda might not be one of us. But I'm curious, could I have a look at that item the antique dealer gave you? You hand the antique Yohu gave you over to Alto. Hmm, did you expect to see it outside my firmament? You know what it is? Uncle Alto is here? Uncle, is that that all? A monitoring register, we Black Shore members, places around the world to keep an eye on the Sentinels. If anything happens to them, we'll know immediately. Looks like it was also used to record abnormal frequencies in the port city of Grishu. But why was I teleported here? Maybe the Tethys system has a soft spot for you. Without more details, I can't say for sure. Uh, since your arrival, has anything unusual caught your eye? You tell Alta with the person you met on the beach. A person like Blue could be a shorekeeper. The shorekeeper? Who that? Is that the character I'm going to try to pull for? Yes, the elusive guardian of the Black Shores, who is said to be always watching our true leader, uh, shielding us from danger. It seems you've had quite an encounter. Uncle Alto? Oh yeah, maybe Encore calls, her, calls him that. I don't know. In times of great adversity, the shorekeeper will reveal herself and support a true leader, who are the destined moments who arise to save and guide the Black Shores. Fantastical or not, that's all we've got to go on. Uh, there must be a reason she went to such length for you. Uh, um, anyway, let's not get carried away. We should head to the greenhouse. The abnormal frequency you collected needs to be uploaded to the Teddy system as soon as possible in order to avoid another lament in the port city of Grishu. Uh, given that we've already lost enough of our own to it, we need more bloom bearers to handle this. As for the information you're after, it's already spread this far. 
Seems like the Tessie's malfunction is getting worse. Iko, we need to hurry. Time is one luxury we do not have. Let's save the rest for the road. Not a hello. Let's go, baby. Let to the shore's end unlocked. Yatta! Look at this place. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Mosh Mosh! Can you hear me? Is that you, Rover? Are you okay? We couldn't reach you for so long. Yang Yang was freaking out. Someone must have teleported you. Teleported us away from the port city of Rishu when things went south. You know, in the blink of an eye, we were back in Jinjo. Hey, is that the sea behind you? Wait, Rover. Gone's dead. Don't worry. It happens a lot around here. Black Shore is set up a massive tacitite, wrecking havoc on standard communication. Once we reach the greenhouse, you can patch them in near the uh, patch them in near our beacon. Only our beacons can cut through the tacitite interference. This place is so pretty. Oh my God. The Koo money, <laughs> as in Kuro money, as in chat. As in the player base. Alto, I've told you before, when it comes to the classic games on the TR 1200, you don't stand a chance against me. Not in the slightest. Is that a talking robot? Well, in a sense, yes. They're directly linked to the Tesi system. The voice frequencies are encoded into languages we could understand. If you think about it, they could be considered a unique living race of their own. As for the Tessie system, imagine it as a supercomputer. The Black Shores relies on its calculations to observe, forewarn, and solve anything lemon related. Anyway, let me introduce you to Ku Money. They manage the cash flow and keeps tab on robot terminals across the region. That's a shrewd profiteer of the Black Shores. Yo, hold up. You can't call me that. Every move I make is about stacking those chips for the Black Shores. Oi! Easy there. Let's get back to business. The recent quake stirred up the Tessitite's interference. How's your underground connection holding? Rock solid. As long as Tessit is up, we're wired tight. That's comforting. Kitty, you can give the abnormal frequency to Kumoni. They will handle the upload. Okay. You hand over the card Yoshu gave you. This is a new rookie. You've got skills if you snag that abnormal frequency for Port City of Rishu. But not underestimate you. How's the upload? Or oh, we send the data back to Tessis? Yeah, all done. Okay. What's going on, Alto? I never see you this serious. The Tessis system has been shaken lately. You've noticed, right? What's worse, along with the data, we received some terrible news. The bloom bearers we sent to the positive of Rishu, we lost them all. How did this happen? What happened the city? Since you're linked to the Tessie's data bank, can you check if there's a bloom bearer named Hoda registered? She might have something to do with the death of her people. She seems to be able to control gravity. Uh, she referred to herself as a we. A bloom bearer whose forty is controlling gravity. I've checked all records of both first natures and bloom bearers, but I didn't find anyone matching your description. I haven't heard of anyone with such an ability either. Gravity control sounds far-fetched. I'd sooner believe in someone minting shell credits. Uh, keep me posted if you find one. Sure thing, we can split the shell credits they generate 30-70. I'll take the 70, you take the 30, that's the deal. Same, it's a cheapskate. Oh, almost forgot. Here, take this. Kumani takes out a large sum of money. Um, sorry. Each Black Shore member is allocated to a specific fund, and this is yours. Find me when you burn through it all. That's not fair, you've never given me that much before. I detected the money you lost to me in games. It was all you had left. By the way, are you heading to the greenhouse? If a Bloombearer dies outside the Black Shores, we bring their body back and keep Monica in the loop. Oh, we need to send out a warning as usual. There's still a lot to do. Okay, bye, bye, bye Mr. Koo money. Kumoni is right, just in case the Tessie system is very likely to send a warning to Jinjo about an imminent lament in the port city of Jinjo. 
As for Hoda, if she's a bloom bearer, there should be a record of her in the system. And if such a reason later existed, the Black Shores would definitely know. Hold on, there's not a possibility. She's not from the Black Shores. Yeah, that's one's possibility. Not to worry, if the machine route doesn't work, there's not a way. Let's go to the greenhouse. Most of us like to get there. And Monica, chief administrator, is stationed there as well. Okay, let's go see Monica. Ku, a music player in which the Black Shore merchant Kumani keeps a playlist of her song favorite. Okay. Didn't I get money from Kumani? That's that's bull crap. Uh, hey Alto. Huh? Hey, what's on your mind? Can robots grow a desire for money too? Fair. You ever play those RPGs? Each character's got a backstory, right? Well, these robots are different. The Tetis system gives them all their own personalities. Take Kumani, for instance. Tetis is programmed it to be a crafty deal maker. Who knows, maybe one day you'll come across a robot you really click with. Once you're ready, we'll head over to the greenhouse and meet Monica. Okay. Search for Monica, activate the beacon. Let's activate the beacon first, real quick. Since that will get us some of the map. And there it is. Okay. Let's make contact with Yang Yang. Even the robot collects money for his own tool. True. Kitty, finally got through. Hey, you scared us to death. Um, sorry, the test interference was too strong. I'm in the Black Shores now. Glad to know you're alright. Shisha, is that you? Yeah, just so you know, we got the Black Shores warning, so we cranked up the defenses in Jinjo. The Midnight Rangers are preparing to secure the port city of Rishu, and... As for the Bloom Bearers who have passed, we'll bring their bodies back to the Black Shore. I know the Black Shores hold many answers for you, your memories, your past. Though the road ahead is uncertain, I hope you find the truth you seek. And please remember, you never have to bear the weight alone. I... We are here with you, always. Okay. What a simp. Shu Yakenko. Loot mapper deployed. Ah, oh, I was not zoomed out enough, so I couldn't see all the treasure. Holy crap, there's many. Holy amount of treasure chest. I'm hoping to get her within a couple of weeks. Hopefully, the modern dad should be able to do it. Uh, hopefully. I, I wish you good luck on, on that. Um, on that. On uh, just good luck. There's another beacon over there. I'm, I'm grabbing all of this. Oh, treasure chest. Yada! Hey, Monica. I assume that's her. Alto, there you are. And this is. The rover just arrived. She's the one we invited earlier. The mysterious resonator who appeared in Jinjo. So, you're the resonator who confronted the Strenodian. I honestly didn't expect to meet you in person. Hey, Reaper! You pull Shorekeeper? Not yet. I'll be doing my pulls a bit later. And I'm doing pretty good, thank you for asking. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. My name is Monica, the chief administrator, or housekeeper around here. I was supposed to show you around, but things are quite hectic right now. My apologies. You heard about what happened in Drishu, right? Yes, we received word from Jinjo City Hall about the actions. We also alerted them to the Tessie system's likely warning of a potential lament in the port city of Drishu. The data you brought back has been uploaded to the system, but as you know, Tessie has been unstable. So the problem is unsolved. You're not playing WoW anymore? Fair enough. Exactly. We need Tessie's functioning normally to fully resolve this. But treating the abnormal frequency was a significant step forward. Those bloom bearers didn't sacrifice themselves in vain. It could have been much worse if they hadn't risked their lives to transmit the coordinate back to Nia. And thanks to you for risking your life to retrieve the data. What's the current situation? Efforts to stabilize the Tessie systems are underway. Good to hear. By the way, since you deal with all your R contacts, does the name Hoda ring any bells? She claims to be a bloom bearer. Hoda? No, I don't recall any bloom bearer by that name. What do you ask?
You tell Monica what happened in the port city of Risho. So this is related to that abnormal frequency. Maybe she's a traitor. That theory doesn't hold water. Not only are traitors incredibly rare in our history, they're all documented. And there's no record of her in the system. Was she trying to mislead us? She told me I was once part of the Black Shores. That's strange. Because we just added you to the recruitment list recently. She's quite a mystery. Monica, can you try to gather more info about this holder for us? Of course, if it comes down to the security of the Black Shores, it's my job. Okay. If this person was truly residing at the abnormal frequency, she could be responsible for those deaths. Makes sense. If she was residing at the abnormal frequency... Hmm... Did we just upload it to... Damn it! We've been tricked! We just fed it back to into thesis. Careful! Oh, they got us. Ish not good. Looks like she's made herself at home in Tetis. That is not good. I'll check with Kumoni to assess the current situation on the ground. We need to do everything in our power to protect Tetis from any harm. Indubitably. Kitty, could you please accompany Alto to the greenhouse? We need you to find the cool water robots. The cool water? Also, ensure the modulation device in the greenhouse remains secure. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I'm sorry, you were meant to have a pleasant time here. When the desk clears, I'd like to formally welcome you to join us. Okay. Eh, hey, you know. Eh, hey, forget about it. Shit happens, as they say. Ba 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 ba. Bra ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba da da ba ba ba. Ba ba da. I thought. A Nintel broker like you always stay cool headed. I'm frustrated with myself. Got too carried away by your present to think straight. I thought we could easily resolve that issue by uploading the data you brought back to the system. Never considered the possibility of an infiltrator lurking inside. We need to figure out who's behind all this. Does the Tetris system mean that much to the Black Shores? Yeah, the Black Shores' every move hinges on its decisions. Big or small, with a thesis, it would just be a barren tacitite. And if you're after the truth, you'll need its assistance too. What should I do now? Actually, Kumoni, Monika, and I don't have top clearance to the thesis system. Our access is limited. With higher clearance, you could uncover the answers you're looking for. Alright, let's pick up the pace. We need to find the cool water siblings and check on the modulation device. This is your chance to ask anything you want. Really? If anyone has answers, it's thesis. I can't guarantee you'll get everything you're after, but it's worth a shot. Right. The greenhouse is just ahead. Let's move. Okay. Yeah, let us move. Mm. Butterfly! Head to the highest point of the greenhouse. I'm sorry, I've got Aria of the Soul in my head and it's uh it's not going away. Oh, right there, treasure chest. Hell yeah. Have you always had this outfit? Not always. I've had it for a while now, though. I change every now and then. Every now and then. But I've been using it this one for like three days now. As a as a regular thing. <laughs> la la la. Happy watering. <laughs> Grow and bloom, my sweet little flowers. I wonder if they if they if they take care of the the black bloom. Ah, 
Don't sneak up on me like that. Are you watering the flowers? No, I'm burning them. Can't you see? Of course, as a capable gardener, I always give ultimate care to all these flowers. Planting, watering, pruning, airing, and giving them sunshine. So, where's the modulation device? You're like, bruh. Upstairs, see the piano? That's the modulation device. Okay. Oh, hold on. Please plant a flower. What? Plant a flower. In the Black Shores, each member plant a flower here. Most choose flowery seeds from their hometown. What flower did Camellia plant? Camellia? She planted so many, countless. She created an entire garden of flowers. So, what kind of flower seed would you like to plant from your hometown? I don't remember where I'm from. Ah, so you're a wandering traveler, right? Then a blade bloom would probably suit you well. A blade bloom? Of course, even if you don't remember your hometown, the Black Shores can be your new home. The blade bloom we give each member symbolizes that. I belong here. Yeah, you could say that. Hm? Wait, cool water. Are you feeling that? You you're getting the same feeling, right? Yeah, you look familiar, but I can't remember where we met. Request, request, no response. But the daisy system reacted to your face. Oh. What? Strange, I found a record of you in the system, but it suddenly disappeared. What happened? Why did Tessie suddenly tell us to leave? Alright, let's go, cool water. Cool money is waiting for us. Okay, see you next time. Bye! Under the instruction of the Tessie system, the two robots leave. It's just gonna be me and Shorekeeper Mummy. At least it better be. It seems like the Tessie system is hiding something from you. However, cool water and cool plants have already departed. Your best course of action now is to inspect the modulation device. Indubitably. But first, let me open that big chest. Okay. Ah! Let's go! Big chest tour! Press the key. This piano is playing by itself. Do you know how to play the piano? No, it's doing that all by itself. Suspicious. I guess the Black Shores have earned a mysterious reputation. They even have a self-playing piano. Try to touch a key. The piano seems to respond to your touch. So, you do know how to play. Keep touching the keys. I don't have a musical bone in me, but that sounded good. It sounds familiar. Keep touching the keys. <gasps> in every sound and frequency lies an emotion. Just like this, expressing what's on your mind through music. It's something even you can do. You'll give it a try, won't you? Oi, wake up! What was that? Did you see? My head, though. What? It's just been the two of us here this whole time. Another earthquake! What's happening? Run, we need to get out of here. Ooh, the place is getting corrupted. Look at that. That's not good. That's not good at all. KU Cas... Ku Cas Cartridge. The Retro Game Collector. All right. Kitty, can you hear me? I can. There was a spike in the anchor frequency of the Tessis algorithmic array. It caused another abnormal frequency to escape. When did it escape? Alice is still investigating. We're already en route for repairs. Right now, the data stored uh, in Tessis materializing by drawing energy from the massive Tessite beneath the Black Shores. It's making digital constructs out of real life entities. Okay. 
Humanoid you logged your info into Tesis. They can command the robot across Blackshore to fix and upload the corrupted data. Then restore the anchors. Okay. We're heading to Vale Rock's anchor. Can you help with the Haven of Sprouts? It's our pumps hub. Okay. Maybe that's why you saw the others in you in that vision. I'm so sleepy. Memoina. Mendox. Woohoo! Get them! Trick you, turtle! Nobody likes you! Get out of here! Get out of here, turtle man! That is less annoying to fight than the Geoshalon. The usual on Terrell is such a pain in the butt, I swear to god. Okay, back to where we're supposed to be going. Relatively, I wanted to find the treasure chest. Oh, there's one here. Um, but apparently I went way too deep. Unless it's up. Is it on top of this? I mean, I guess that's possible. Ooh, more of that string flower. Let me climb. Oh, look at that. There's those things here. For some reason. Okay, weird. It is the right height. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I was indivisibly blind. Indeed. Let's go up here. Let me open the box. Arigato. And now I do want to go over there. Then we'll go this way. There's even uh, monsters to beat up. So let's do that. Woohoo! The treasure has to be in here. Yep. Lovely. Ooh, Nova. It's used for resonator ascension. Lovely. This place is huge! Okay, so we're gonna go back down here because there was a pass on the shore. <laughs> the black shores. <laughs> Get it, chat? Okay, sea fly trap, sea fly trap, sea fly trap. And here we have. Yep, gotta beat those guys. The one punch problem solved. That's a new achievement. All right, lovely. So, oh, I can actually grab raw meat from the monster here. The dead carcass. It's pretty raw. We'll go and fight this wolf. Okay, there should be a treasure chest here. There it is. Slightly hidden. Thank you. Okay, so we'll cross this. Oh, there's actually some stuff to, to mine here. Ta-da! Okay, hello. Oh, hi, dude. Cookie! You're finally here! I'm Cookie! <laughs> Cookie, you get it? Tessie sent me to assist you. Welcome to the Haven of Sprouts, where Blackshore members leave and rest. The anchor here is our communication hub, linking all beacons worldwide. Currently, the leak corrupted data has been spreading. But time is on our side, and our agents are on it. Damage control is already underway. Okay, tell me how I can help. Right, since we're connected to the Tessie system, I give you clearance and you collect all the bad stuff. Before it to work, you can't go too far from me. There's a distance limit. Almost forgot, do not touch the corrupted data. It still poses a threat. 
I see some nearby. Why don't you start your housekeeping over there? I follow you. Just say aim and boom. Easy peasy. Coo -coo cookie. Top clearance activated. Top clearance. Clearance issued. Please proceed. How do I aim? Ah, there it is. When Cookie approaches the corrupted core, it can decode and remove it, thereby cleansing the surrounding corrupted data. Oh, I need to be close enough. Ooh. Yatta! The security essentials, indubitably. All right, let's have a look at these. You're indeed as capable as Kumani said, but be careful, this corrupted data is dangerous. The authorized key is a one-time use and work within a limited range. They deactivate after use or if you're too far from here. Clones issues, let's proceed. Uh, okay, we can probably remove these, right? There we go. So I could go lower here. Um, and that's what I want to do. There's probably some stuff we can gather here. Hello. Get out of here. Bop bop. Hey. Okay, it's way better now. And there is another one here. Oh, misclick. But it's over here, over here, here. Am I out of keys? Oh, I am. I, sh I guess I should talk to him again. There, are, there you are. Quick on your feet, huh? How do you get down here? What do you mean? I've been here all along. We've got one more spot left. Time for another aerial tactic. Luckily, not all the leaked data is corrupted. Some of it helps us make useful gadgets. Cuckoo cookie! Clarity shoes! Okay. Oh, butterfly! Look at that! That's Shorekeeper. She's telling us where to go. We'll go up there, but I do want to clear the this side right there. There we go. Bop bop. Also, unrelated, but I do want to place another loot mapper here. There we go. Look at all this stuff. It's looking good. Oh, there was a chest here. Hello. Okay, so from here, we're definitely going up. Shuya Kenko. Bouncy, 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 meow, brr, meow, bounce. <gasps> Ooh, treasure chest all the way up top. Mm. We do want to grab that. The earlier disruptions on the island seem to have settled. This is the beginning of a new story. Its geographical coordinates remain unchanged. Everything as it is as it was, even time leaves no trace on the satellite. This world has not yet begun, but we have already seen its end. They too will be as fragile and lost as we once were. But this time we'll show them what we believe in. What was that? An illusion caused by those abnormal frequencies. But it felt all too real. Hello, can you hear me? Grover, thanks to you, the abnormal frequency index in the Haven of Sprouts has dropped. The island ahead is the Eye of Asteria, the highest point in the Black Shores. It monitors the etheric seas across all of Solaris. Since the test site there is more powerful, the interference is stronger. There's not as much infrastructure there. It's quite close to the Haven of Sprout. The robot is already there waiting for you. Okay. Uh, before we go all the way over there, I do want to try and see if I can grab a few treasure chests first. So, let's do that real quick. First of all, we did get a free chest here. From being a good girl, obviously. Oh, it's a gold, fools pluff a gold puff plushie. That's cute. Also, we can climb this and we should climb this. This gives us stamina back, which is nice for climbing purposes. And there we go. Okay, lovely. There seems to be a treasure nearby. Um, I would guess it would be inside this building. Most likely. Um, maybe I can't get inside, so maybe it's actually lower. 
Um, guess not. Oh, yeah, there it is. Based on the number of goals you make. Gotta beat the enemies fast enough, I guess. This is a new kind of challenge. I like it. Alright. Did I, did I do the thing? You got a notification saying someone just activated tactical trial. Turns out it was you, Kitty. I can't believe you took down those digital tacit discords so fast. Truly incredible speed. Your combat records have made the special objectives. Will be a great help to my research. Please take these as a token of my gratitude. Combat challenge. My apologies, I got carried away. I'm Yoran from Black Shore's emergency response team. I'm researching combat strategies against tacit discords. The challenge you just completed just now is part of my research. As you can see, I've set specific challenge objectives with corresponding rewards for completion. It's probably too difficult. I've only gathered a few valid records so far. Many gave up after a few rounds, complaining was impossible to complete. Uh, given the situation, could you please complete the rest of these challenges for me? No problem. Excellent! I've sent you the coordinates for the other challenges. I'm looking forward to witnessing your combat skills. Okay. Okay, lovely. Hey. Hey. Skinanda. Hey, Berry Mike, how are you doing today? Time for Kitty to be balling, you know it. I never lose an opportunity to be balling, that's for sure. Hey, there's the treasure chest. And there's another one over there. There we go. Oh. That's for me. That's for me. That's for me. All right. Objective time, unless... Aha! Alright, do the objective now, for real, for real. Oh, there's a treasure! Bam bam ba da dam. Woohoo! Woohoo! Nom 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 nom. for me that flower is for me this is for me that's all for me can i grab those they are counters that i can grab indubitably indeed i can see fly trap see fly trap see fly trap there's one more here i need more novas i feel like this could come in handy oh wait There we go. Show you a kinko. Ah, so the problem here. Uh, maybe I remove this beacon and I do add it here instead. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we need to do something here. Where's the little robot? Oh, there he is. Hey, you. Why, wow, you're so fast. Not you again. Afraid so. That's my responsibility. 
It's all dropped to you with the corrupted data, right? This anchor is the Eye of Asteria. As you may have noticed, it bears the same name as the island. It's the Black Shore's eyes toward the stars. Most of the corrupted data around here is gathered inside the anchor. Employ the switches here to use the grapple. That'll help you climb to the top of the anchor. There's a gap over there you can get through. Maybe it's a good place to start. Claims issued. Let's proceed. Okay, let's do that. Butterfly. Boyang. 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 Thank you for the pat. Oh, did the pat pat work? Let me fix the pat pat real quick. Fixing the pat pat, yeah. The pat pat's been fixed, baby. You love to see it, indeed. Sorry for that. Trophies. Would you look at that? Clean up corrupted data for the first time. Yeah. Uh, open 350 supply chest in ginger, including Mount Firmament. Done. Arrive at the Black Shore for the first time. Done. Uh, complete all stages in Tower Adversity Hazard Zone. Done. 20,000 damage with one attack to an enemy. Deal 40,000 damage with one attack to an enemy. Lovely. Uh, the backpack. There's a new Pioneer podcast. I like some new bundles in the store here. It's like almost 10 pools. And the same here. Okay. Uh, guidebook. Claim, claim, claim. Boop. Yatta! Quest backpack. What's new in my backpack? Those things. A music player. Okay. Uh, events. What's still pinging me? This one. Proceed. The seaside wandering. Oh yeah, from yeah. Okay, you you get. It's just like from playing the new the new story. You, you can get some rewards. That's awesome. A hundred. That's a hundred thousand. Sheesh. Super sheesh. Parade of Stars. A stellar journey. Level up one resonator to level 50. Oh, oh, oh shit, okay. So upgrade some weapon to level 80. Tune echoes a bunch of times. Upgrade any skill to a bunch of levels. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. It gives you some good stuff. Some resources. More resources. Okay, that, that's nice. Nice event, nice events. Alright, let's keep going here. Alright. Ah, come on! Kiyotsukete? So much bad to have it. Bad time! I had a snap of my finger, baby! It's a twap! It was a twap all along! How could this be? Why is that guy so tanky? There we go. Hello? There we go. Da -da! Awesome. Wow. We fixed the tower. The corrupted data in the eye of hysteria has been cleared. The story is unfolding. 
The lament is not an entirely unpredictable natural disaster. To confront one's enemy, one must first understand them. However, even now we can only anticipate and warn of the laments coming. Advanced um, predictions, including those of the etheric sea and the tacit field, remain beyond our reach. Our battle against the laments uh, cannot be won by a chosen few. Every soul must join. The lament is a shared enemy, tearing apart the land and people and reaping people from their homes, their lives. It will take everyone to build a world that can thrive amidst so much ruin. Okay. This is something only we as human beings can achieve. Another one. Is this how the Black Shores was founded? It was like looking at the mirror in the past. Hello, it's really high up there, isn't it? The view from the Eye of Hysteria is quite nice. But now isn't the time for sightseeing. Come save me. There is so many tacit discord in the TD Observatory. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, there's probably gotta be another one up there. Climb time. There we go. All right. Babe! New spot with babes! Get wrecked! It I know! Lovely. That's for me. So this is where they observe the, uh, TD, the Tasset Discord. This place is the trickiest. Okay. We got more Tasset Discord incoming. Hi. Hi Kitty Insane! Hi Sayak! How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good myself, thank you for asking. Hey dude. Thank you, I'm the keeper of the TD Observatory. Uh, that was an impressive battle. I've heard about your skill from my colleagues in Jinjo. If I'm wrong, long. You're doing nice? Heck yeah. Yes, but regardless of our origins, we've united by a common ideal here. While you were busy cleaning house, we took the opportunity to reconnect the Tetis system at the Haven of Sprouts. Since data can materialize using the energy of the Tessitite, we can harness it to our advantage. Okay. Now we have an input data near the anchor, and hope to form a climbing platform. Okay. Let's drive those monsters back to where they belong. Fair enough. Are uh, you getting to PGR for BRS now? Uh, the collab, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a good time and a half. Sadly, I just have too many games to play and... I have to put PGR aside. It is what it is. But I hope you have a good... Oh god, there's more locking system issues, right? Alright, grabbing this. Too many gachas a god. Yeah, for real. For real! Alright, head to the anchor. Do the thingy. Those are some lizards. Shuya Kenko. Shuya 
Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Oh, really? I don't have time for you. Okay, here we are. Hey, dude. Now, never, now, never. Are you a parrot? Uh, we're all set now. We can start the first step. Okay, we, are, we got the clearance, so we can actually do the thing. Also, let me record this place real quick. There it is. All right, let's go up. Bye. Bye, young. Phew. 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 Bye, young. Chua. Bye, young. Parkour Pug Pug Oh my god VA, she's an SFX expert too. Yeah, true. I just make noises with my mouth. I wouldn't call me an expert. I I'm a professional when it comes to the beeps and the boops. Matane? Yes, queen! Oh, I don't know. You know what? Boom. Clear the thing. Let's see what kind of vibes will this Black Shore story give me. Uh, yeah. So far, it's been interesting. Just like uh, the place has been attacked and corrupted, trying to hack the system, and we've just been fixing it. The last batch of corrupted data has been cleansed in the TD Observatory. Uh oh. Gorgeous of spirits. I can only go, so, go as far as you commanded. From the etheric sea to Sonoru, from time to space. Hey, Yang Yang, look, somebody's over there. Wait, is she dead or just unconscious? Your story begins here. Go forth. I am forever by your side. <gasps> she was there all along. Whoa, you scared me. You just fell from above all of a sudden. Are you alright? I can some spare parts and oil here. Take them all. Thank you, but I'm good. The anchor in the TD Observatory has been restored now. Alto and the others have finished repairing the anchor at Vel Rock 2. They'll be here soon. Okay. Um, we should climb this. Hello, Mr. Alto. 
Alright, all the repairs are finally done. Thank you for your help, Kitty. Without you leading the charge, we would have barely made it. You are Hoda. I forgot to tell you, we've only found her found out her true identity. She wasn't like when she said she was a bloom bearer. She worked as a field medic. But more importantly, she died in the lament that destroyed the port city of Rishu a few hundred years ago. In short, she couldn't be alive. Then how is any of this possible? Hoda is but one of us. In the Tetsi system, our registered name is Necrostar. We are forever trapped on the event horizon of the black hole, falling into an unending darkness. Beneath the lament's wheels, we are but dust, pitiful souls cursed to suffer a dreadful eternity, denied the solace of death. Memento, the one I follow, please, I beg you to end this Mobius loop of this endless cycle. My wife. That's my wife! Look at her! Okay, Nasai! I'm here, baby, don't worry about it. You stand on these shores once more. Welcome home, kitty. You sent me back in the port city of Trisho. I wish to keep you from harm. By the way, chat, I'm so sorry it took this long, but I really want to... I want you guys to finally meet my wife. Uh, chat, shorekeeper, shorekeeper, chat. Uh, it's a pleasure. I, I hope you... Be nice, chat, okay? She's a bit shy, but uh, she's my one and only. Forgive me for acting on my own accord. Was that you on the beach before? Why do you look sad? Sad? Pardon me, such emotions are not mine to show. Yes, it was I. Dio! Long ago, when you first brought the Black Shores into existence on this island, I assisted you in managing the place. You once wove the thread of this world together, but then you left, roving the boundaries between this realm and the next. I don't remember any of this. You have lost far more than just your memories. But the Black Shores? Since your departure, the Tetsi system has been the sole leader of the Black Shores. Most have never seen you, and that is all by your design. This place, built by your hands, holds all its resources at your disposal. You have more important matters to attend to than dealing with everyday trifle. That is why you entrusted the Tetsi system with the Black Shores' governance. What happened with the other three wives before her? Oh, we still married, don't worry about it. This time, only you have the ability to end all of this completely. I have many wives. When I say she's my one and only, I mean she's my one and only this wife. Like, there's no other wife that is like her. A every single wife of mine are very unique. And husband. I do have one. It's a venturing. Maybe I'll be, though. We have two husbands. <laughs> I, I, I'm willing to make some exceptions every now and then. Everyone's my one and only for real. True! True, 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 true! This time, only you have the ability to end all of this completely. This is also your first step towards the future. But I said something similar. You mean... You tell the shorekeeper what happened in the port city of Jishu. She was indeed a bloom bearer, but mysteries still surround her and the departed. The departed whom you saw in the port city of Rishu caused those abnormal frequencies. Only you can mend those errors. Rest assured, I shall always be by your side, to assist you as before. What happened back then? Were we... Were we going out, or...? I am sorry, but I must keep this secret from you. Perhaps as you restore the Tetsi system, you will uncover the reasons for severing ties with your past. Wandering traveler, please tell me. Are you satisfied with your journey and stories in Jinju? I would say it's been a good start to the adventure. In Solaris, Jinju is but the beginning of your journey. Please have faith. The path ahead shall be as splendid as you desire. What should I do now? The gate to the underground has been opened. Pass through it, and you will reach the depth of the Black Shores. Your journey has only just begun. Beyond the Black Shores lies Solaris itself. Before you go, can I ask a favor? Pull for me. When all is settled, will you share your stories from Jinju with me? Of course I will, my wife. My wife! My wife! 
right, is it time we just saw a wife? I think it's time, chat. I think, I think it is indeed time. I believe it's finally time to pull for my wife. Okay, chat. It's time to pull for my wife. We have zero pity. We have zero pity. We gotta get two. We gotta get two, potentially 80 pulls before we get my wife. So we're gonna be trying that. We have a lot of asteroids. So hopefully that is gonna be enough to get her. And uh, yeah, for a weapon, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a 10 pull and, and call it there. But otherwise, um, in terms of weapon, I think I, I've... I've got like a four star weapon that's good enough for her, um, I believe. Essentially, she wants just like a lot of energy regen, right? And um, I do have a weapon that gives energy regen and also concerto energy, I'm pretty sure. Which would be rectifier, I think. No, that's a healer. Variation. And yeah, this one. Energy regen. When resonance skill is cast, restore eight concerto energy. This effect can be triggered one time every 20 seconds. Uh, this is good. Um, it would be lovely to get more than just rank 1 here. But even just rank 1 is going to be good enough. So this weapon is good. It's already level 90. So I don't actually need a weapon. So I might be saving for like Camellia or something in terms of weapon. Uh, so let's actually get into it. Till the sea turns clear. Uh, in terms of 4 stars here, honestly, it's not very interesting. Very sadly, Taoshi still just has not found her place in the game. She has not found a place in any team composition as of right now. So very underwhelming, unfortunately. Uh, when it comes to Shiksha, uh, on the right here, Shiksha is kind of decent. Um, but, I mean, the problem is that we have so many very strong DPS options that it feels like kind of... There's not really any reason to play her. In terms of 4-star, a character like... Um, I don't remember... Danjin... Um, play properly is gonna be better. Uh, I mean, Chiksha might be more comfortable, but yeah, I mean, there are like... Chances are, you already pulled for a main DPS right now. Or you got Rover, who's for free and very strong. Or you got the free Shangli Light Yao, who's also very strong. So there, it's... Unlikely that you're gonna need Chicha, right? Now, Yang Yang, she's a okay support. Um, but, I mean, if you're pulling here, uh, you're probably gonna gonna hope to get her. If you don't have Verena, stuff like that, maybe Yang Yang can be an option because you're struggling and you just have Baiju and, and, and Yang Yang. But let's be real, in that situation, you most definitely want to... If you're pulling for this here, you're probably not gonna be using Yang Yang. <laughs> So that's a bit unfortunate, but yeah, those four stars, kind of sucky, not gonna lie. And if I look at my characters, actually, let me see. Because I'm pretty sure my Tower Shi is S6, my Shiksha is S6, my Yang Yang is only S1, so we can actually get some copies here. Okay, 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 let's see. All right, let's get into it. First and pull, guaranteed. Let's go. Let's go! I am disappointed and my day is ruined. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. Okay, give me some variation. Wait, is variation a... It's a gacha weapon, right? Comet Flare, that's random. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a gacha weapon. What's the, uh, what's the power pass weapon? Let me see real quick. I I'm stalling like crazy. Battle pass weapon is augment. Okay, okay, okay. So it is a Gemba weapon. Is it available on... Is it available on any batter? Information? Uh, variation it is. Okay, maybe we get lucky and we get a variation out of nowhere. Okay, 20 pools, let's go. Ah, I, come on, give me some variation copies, I believe. It is the gauntlet of night. Chat, give me your luck right now. It's an order. Give me your luck. Okay, well. Already maxed out. Doesn't matter. I mean, at least it gives me more of those things, right? Okay, 20 pool, 20 pool, 20 pool. 
30 pool. Let's go. We believe in the 30 pool. Come on. Ah! <laughs> Imagine if I lose a 50-50. That would be diabolical. That would be diabolical. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, Discord. That freaking weapon. Nobody likes your Discord. Get out of here. Okay. Um. 50 pull in it. Oh, actually, this doesn't go down. I thought it did. I don't even know what my history is then. That was 30 pull or 40 pull? I think that was 30. Discord, was that today? Oh, he, man. That, shit, that, that stuff is fast. Yeah, look at that. So that's 30... 31, 32. Okay, so this is 42 pools. I will give you 1% luck. That's all I need. Ah, I was kidding. Give me more, please. Okay, 42. Still... Still no 5 star. Then we got... We got a... Oh my god, her again? We got a Prage. We got a Prage. We win that 50-50. That it is 50-50, right? Yeah. Okay, was that 42 or 52? Oh, I already forgot. Why, why am I stupid? Why am I too speed? So that's like... Oh, it did not register everything here. They just... oh, okay, never mind. I'm too speed. I'm too speed. I'm absolutely too speed. Convene time, 6.31. It's an hour late. Okay, so I think this is 52 probably. Or 62, I don't know. Uh, I already forgot. I forgot. I, I don't know how to count. Leave me alone. I think this is 52. Come on, give me variation. 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 Oh my god! Ah, it was a ginger keeper! <laughs> I mean, the ginger keeper is not bad, but it ain't no variation, that's for sure. Wait, what's my history for the weapon? Z 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It's 40 PD. Damn. Damn. Weapon is so beautiful too. Okay, 62. Come on. There has to be a god. Oh, no! I believe so hard! I believe so hard. Come on. So at least give me copies of Yang Yang, so at least I can get some resonance chains. Oh my god, okay, 72. Come on, don't make me go to 80 pools. Yes! Okay. Oh my god. Come on, come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! Yeah! We won, chat! We won! We never stop winning! That's a 50-50! Another one! Another one! Hell yeah! She's so pretty! Look, that's my wife! Congrats on your marriage! Thank you! Another 50-50 won! Easy! And now we are saving for Camellia! We are saving for Kamasi! The Kamasi is coming to me! The animation is clean as F. Let me see. What, uh, what did the 4 star uh, rank up here? Wait, does it not say here which are the... F what are those rate up 4 stars? Endless Collapse, Comet Flare, and Discord. Really? They're not even putting the variation here? That's sad. Okay, um, as a additional bonus here, we do have a uh, we do have a 10 pool here available. Um, now the question is, which of those weapons do I have and which of those weapons do I not have? Do I have Cosmic Ripples? Let me check my weapons real quick. I have the gun, the... Okay, I've got the, the gun and the sword. So, either I get Cosmic Ripples, which is the... I think I'm getting Cosmic Ripples, actually. Because here, um, 
I do have a broad blade, which is gonna be Jinshi's broad blade, right? Um, and I could go for the Abyss Surges, but I'm not really a big Gauntlet fan so far. That could be useful for potentially uh, Yang Li Yao, Shang Li Yao. I haven't built him, the free character essentially. Um, the problem is that because I don't care so much, and there would be only him that I really want to build uh, as DPS. I feel like that would be a waste. Meanwhile, while I do have um, the Puppet Master, the Yin, Li, Yin Lin's weapon, I think getting a Cosmic Ripples would be a decent option, especially because it does give like energy recharge. Um, and maybe maybe this would be like a better a better weapon if I do want to do like two. Um, to two casters in the same team or maybe this could be a decent weapon for what's her name camellia when she comes out maybe i don't know let's do a ten pool let's prage ah he's so good well we tried chat we tried all right at least gave me variation come on i already have him as six Man, truly unlucky with the four stars today. But I got my beautiful wife. And that is truly what matters here. Let's be real. Let's change the avatar. We're going to put my wife right there. Hell yeah. And, uh... Oh, baby! Edit showcase. Yes, ma'am. We, we are going to put my wife and my other wife... And my other wife, right there. Shoakipa. So freaking pretty. What? Yes, ma'am. It's a beaut. So you actually have to keep here to click there to see. Ah, oh, look at it. She's so pretty. Oh my god. We're gonna have to build her. We are gonna have to build her. I, um... Yeah. So, in terms of stuff, I actually have some things... Where did I put it, though? That's the big question. I think... Let me do filter. Regenerating glow. And uh, it's gonna be the equip stuff. I think I've put everything on Baija. Uh, so, that would be... Here, Baija, there it is. HP, energy regen, some HP. So she's, the stuff I have for her right now is full HP. Uh, and energy regen here, obviously, energy regen. Um, but we might do some changes in the future. Maybe we'll build for a little bit more DPS because she can actually deal a lot, and I mean a lot of damage through uh, her intro skills. So maybe we'll do that, uh, but this is not the priority for now. We just want her to actually, like, just do her job properly, just have some damage. Here we do have some crit damage, which is very good for her, because her intro skill is basically guaranteed crit, right? Uh, here you can see I also have some crit damage. So essentially, there is room for... There is definitely room for improvement, uh, but this is already pretty good, right? Uh, because essentially, the idea is that if you do want to play a bit more DPS, right, you can definitely focus on, well, energy regen. Regardless of your build, you want energy regen. If you want to build more toward HP uh, and thus healing, then HP percentage and flat HP is going to be your priority. If you're building a bit more toward um, DPS focus, then after energy regen breakpoint, you are going to want to grab crit damage. You don't need crit rate because you're guaranteed to crit with intro skill. And then you want to increase, uh, so crit damage, ultimate damage, and then it's going to be HP again, right? So the best stat for her would be HP percentage, well, energy regen, HP percentage, crit damage, all damage, essentially. So you can see here, I do have HP, and here we have energy regen. And HP percentage again, so that's a lot of HP. Here I've got energy regen, crit damage, energy regen. We're just missing like a potential line of uh, HP percentage or maybe ultimate damage, right? 
And here, energy regen, HP percentage. See, this could definitely be better. But then here we have HP, energy regen, crit damage. That's pretty good. And here we have HP percentage, HP percentage, crit damage, energy regen. So overall, this is already a pretty good build, right? So my energy regen increase is of 91%, and this is without a weapon. So when we're going to be switching to the weapon, which is going to be variation, we are actually reaching a total of 243 percentage. Um, and that's without counting the other buff that you will be getting. Um, approximately, you want to run 250% energy regen, right? Um, so I am very, very close to what I need. And obviously, she's only level 1 right now. And I haven't leveled up anything here. Um, she gets some healing bonus. She gets some HP increase, healing bonus. She doesn't get any energy regen here. But, 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 but. She actually do get some free energy regen here, but 10% once you log this inner and skill. Um, so it's not going to be as bad. And also the new echo uh, that I haven't gotten yet, obviously. But there is a new echo in the encyclopedia that is also uh, rejuvenating glow. You can't see it here. It, it's that guy. That guy actually does give you extra energy regen. So right now, I'm at like 240%, but I'm in actuality in combat. When I'm fully built, I will be around 260%, which is awesome. Anyway, that's going to be it for this. I got lucky with the pools. I'm very happy. Now I am saving hard for when Camellia comes out. I'm super excited for her. And yeah, let me know in the comments how your pools went or if you're skipping. Thank you so much for watching. You can catch me live at twitch.tv forward slash kittycathy. I'm basically live every day. Anyway, see you later. Bye! There we go. We have a video. Incredible. Incredible. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Okay. Here we also have the ability to uh, batch merge, which is awesome. Um, and we can also say that some of those pieces, you don't want them and like throw them all at once, which is very, very good. So I'm going to have to do that. 50k damage with one attack to an enemy. Ooh, saucy. All right. So let's see if we can actually build her properly. Because for now, she's at level 1, and I want her to be, obviously, playable. So, auto-select. Level 20. Ascend. Level up. Auto-select. Level 40. Oh, she needs the topological confinement. The fallacy of no return. We're gonna have to find him and fight him. Uh, so, in terms of team, what kind of team do I want to run with her? That's the big question, right? She d Compared to Verena, she doesn't have coordinated attack. So, I don't think she would be the best to beat Jinchi. I mean, don't take me wrong. She would still be very good. Uh, but Verena coordinated attack do help Jinchi. Who has the hottest female characters? Kuro Games or MiHoYo? Um, I would say Kuro Games. It's just because their models are way more mature. And so you have characters like Cheng Li and Yin Lin that just don't exist in Genshin. Like Genshin's hottest character are like Deya and Jilonen, for example. But like, I mean, I'm sorry, but Cheng Li and Yin Lin, they look so freaking good, dude. I think they're hotter. Doesn't mean that the Hoyoverse games characters are not hot, but uh, I mean, you, I mean, to be fair, with Zenless Zone Zero, there's a lot of hot characters too. You can run full Spectral Team with Keeper now, right? I mean, if you want, yeah, I guess. Uh, who'd be the other Spectral, though? Like Verena. Her... Why would you do that? That would be a terrible team. <laughs> like double healer and Spectral Rover. I think that would be absolutely terrible. Yeah, I don't think that would be good. Uh, in terms of team, I'm thinking... What I'm thinking, essentially... I mean, maybe it's time to actually properly build my rover. Because my rover has been lacking. But I could do a team like this, for example. Because the Shark Keeper does have a special mechanic that functions with the rover, right? Well... Okay, it's 10% energy regen for Rover, which is not like... Like, this would be a nice team, like, thematically, but I don't feel like it's absolutely necessary. Um, in terms of what I could run right now, 
Um, maybe I would just do something like... Uh, maybe I'll just put her in my team with Cheng Li, to be honest. Just do a mommy team like this. Call it a day. Look how pretty she is! Oh, I love her! Butterfly time! That's so cool! Aw, uh, she's so awesome, dude. Alright, we need to talk to Alto. <gasps> Her animations are so pretty! Oh, uh, that's insane. I'm in love, chat. I'm in love. Oh my god, she's so cool. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, let's see here. We need to upgrade again. Okay, so basic attack. Perform up to four consecutive attacks in spectral damage. Each, each hit generates one collapse core. I assume that's a collapse core. Uh, yeah, something to that effect, probably. Okay. Wakata. Okay. Hold the normal attack button to enter unbound form, which consumes time attack continuously. When this form, Trollkeeper will generate a segment of deductive data every second. Automatically collect nearby planes collectible. Using up all stamina actions, such as casting basic attack, will end the unbound form and deal spectral damage to the target. Each accumulated segment of deductive data will convert into a segment of empirical data and generate a collapse core. Okay. Consume stamina to perform a plunging attack. Each hit generates one collapse core. Quickly press the normal attack button after the plunging attack to perform basic attack 2. Okay. Uh, press the normal attack button after a successful dodge to attack a target, dealing spectral damage. Okay. Uh, restore HP for all nearby party members and summon 5 Dim Star Butterfly, which automatically track and attack a target, dealing spectral damage. Follow up with the basic attack in time to start the basic attack cycle from stage 2. Can be performed in mid-air. So essentially, you can use skill into basic attack right away, which means you skip the stage 1 of the basic attack, which is nice. Uh, 40 circuits. Hitting a target with normal attack generates a collapse core. Which transform into a flare star butterfly after six seconds. Um, and this is a dim star butterfly. So there's like a dim star butterfly and a flare star butterfly. Flare star butterflies automatically track and attack a target dealing spectral damage. If there are already five collapse cores, Shorekeeper's next normal attack hit will instantly convert the collapse core into a flare star butterfly. Okay. Elation. When Shorekeeper has five segments of empirical data, casting heavy attack will consume all segments to pull in nearby targets. Ooh, pulling. Dealing spectral damage. Meanwhile, all generated collapse cores will instantly transform into Flare Star Butterfly. Nice. Transmutation. When Shorekeeper... So this is the same but mid-air attack. She will consume all segments to deal spectral damage. Meanwhile, all generated collapse cores will instantly transform into Flare Star Butterfly. Uh, you can quickly press attack to immediately go into basic attack stage 2 which you cannot do from the charge attack. Empirical data. Shadow Keeper can hold up to Shore Keeper. Five segments of empirical data. Obtain one segment of empirical data when basic attack stage 1, 2, or 4 hits a target. Obtain two segments of empirical data when basic attack stage 3 hits a target. So you get five just by the with the basic uh, attack segment. Sex, um, you know what I mean. Sequence. Obtain one segment with a mid-air attack, one segment with a dodge counter. Okay, in terms of damage, let's see here. Elation is 9.54 times 5. Transmutation is 35.2. So essentially the elation damage is stronger, but the transmutation damage uh, allows you... So the charge attack deals more damage, but the transmutation attack allows you to... go into basic stage 2, which can be useful, I guess. They both regen six conservator energy. Okay. Uh, transmutation does cost a bit more stamina, which is fair enough. Um, also, it doesn't say the dim star butterfly damage is fifteen point seventy five percent, but the flare star butterfly is a bit higher. It's pretty much three percent higher. Okay. Uh, generate the outer stellar realm to restore HP for all party members. That's the ulti. Within its effective range continuously, this effect can be triggered once every 3 seconds. So essentially, you create the field for 30 seconds, and every 3 seconds you heal. So essentially, you heal... There's 10 ticks of healing, which is huge. 
When a party member uses intro skill within the outer stellar realm, it evolves into the inner stellar realm. Within the effective range of the inner stellar realm, for every 0.2% of Shorekeeper's energy regen, all party members gain a 0.01% increase of crit rate up to 12.5%. The inner stellar realm has all the effect of the outer stellar realm. The supernormal stellar realm. When a party member uses intro skill within the inner stellar realm, it evolves into the supernormal stellar realm. Within the effective range of the supernormal stellar realm, for every 0.1 of Shorekeeper's energy regen, all party members gain a 0.01% increase of crit damage up to 25%. The Supernal Steel Realm has all the effect of the... Okay, so essentially, when you cast your ulti, if you do two intro skills inside the thing from, like, any ally, uh, it evolves the Steel Realm into, like, its double updated effect, and you heal every three seconds, and on top of that, you buff 12.5% crit rate and 25% crit damage, which is insane. And the cooldown is 25 seconds, and the duration is 30 seconds. So essentially, if you play properly... Um, you can very much um, keep the field uh, buff permanent, essentially. The resin cost is pretty high at 175, but with the amount of energy regen that you're building on her anyway for the buff, uh, it's not going to be that hard to actually reach. And uh, on top of it, it also gives you immediate 20 concerto regen, which is very good. Uh, intro skill. Let's see. Shorekeeper appears to restore HP for all nearby party members and summon Fight Team Star Butterfly, which will automatically track and attack a target dealing spectral damage. This is considered resin skill damage. Yeah, so this is gonna be 15.75% uh, damage since it's a dim version. Discernment. When a supernormal still realm is generated, Shorekeeper's first intro skill triggered in its duration will be replaced with intro skill discernment. Casting Discernment ends the current Stellar Realm, restore HP for all nearby party members and deal spectral damage to your target. This attack is guaranteed to be a critical hit dealing resonance liberation damage. The intro skill Discernment can only be triggered once each time a supernatural, a supernatural Stellar Realm is generated. So essentially, if you fully leveled up your uh, realm by doing two ally intro skills, and then you intro skill with her, she does a big attack that is guaranteed to crit and is considered liberation damage. That's why crit damage is going to be good on her. Uh, and the damage is... 9 point... Oh! Her discernment damage scales off of HP instead of attack percentage. Which means that because you build her with so much HP, this is going to be massive damage, to be honest. Interesting. Okay, very cool. Uh, out of skill, Shorekeeper summon one Flare Star Butterfly and one Dim Star Butterfly to circle the Resonator on the field for up to 30 seconds, granting the following effects. If the Resonator on the field is hit or launched, tapping the Dodge button allows the Resonator to immediately recover from the interruption, triggering a successful dodge. The Resonator launched in the air can land on the ground standing if they are close to the ground. This effect can be triggered up to 5 times. Also, all nearby party members damage is amplified by 15 seconds. 15% for 30 seconds. Jesus, she's strong. Uh, when a Resonator Odin that the Shorekeeper takes a fatal blow, they will not be knocked out and will instead be healed for 50% of Shorekeeper's HP while Shorekeeper loses the same amount of HP. Shorekeeper's HP will not go below 1 from this effect. This effect can be triggered once every 10 minutes. Okay, so it's a better version of Verida's 1, I guess. When the Resonator on the field is within the effective range of a Stellar Realm, Shorekeeper's... Well, it's not a better version. It's a different version because it, it does heal 50%. Uh, when the Resonator on the field is within the effective range of a Stellar Realm, Shorekeeper's energy regen increased by 10%, and Rover's energy regen also increased by 10% if Rover is on the team. Okay. Very nice. Okay, very, very cool. We like that a lot. She's so pretty! Oh my god, she's so pretty! Okay, moving on. Hey, Alto. She's a storekeeper. She even showed that in person. That means... You haven't met her before? I haven't seen the storekeeper in all my time in the Black Shores. I've only heard the stories about her. If the storekeeper is revealing herself to you, it can only mean one thing. I think you know what I mean. The gateway to the underground has been opened. I'm sure the answer lies ahead. Look, go ahead. Leave the rest to us, buddy. Okay. Uh, bye, have a great time. Give me a second, chat. I'm 
reapplying uh, all the commissions that I'm doing uh, in, um, you know, the video game playing um, Azure Lane. Azure Lane! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Lovely. All right, let's go. Let's head to the Stargate. Lovely. That's for me. Um, nom, 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 nom. Uh, I should place another. Whoops! I should place another loot mapper here. A wager. There we go. Look at all that loot we can grab. Should I do that right now? No, I want to focus on the story so I can actually level up the shortkeeper at some point. Because right now we don't have all the resources for what the hell is going on here. Oh, it's a tactical, tactical training. Yeah, yeah. You got showkeeper. How many pulls do you take? Uh, I went to like soft PD. I think I was around like 75 or something. Did it get healed? Okay, let's redo it. Alright, let's do it again. Kitty! NJ! What's up? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. Just having dinner. How are you, kitty? I'm pretty good, thank you. Just chilling, playing some video game. All the good, good. Uh, Huguini, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. Why are you guys so tanky? <sighs> Take fewer than five hits. I failed. All right, that's fine. We'll try again later. Look at all this loot just waiting for me. Thank you. 
right. Sure you can cope. Sure Alright, let's actually go toward the objective. My shorekeeper is too weak right now because she can only be level freaking 40 and I hate it. Plop. <laughs> so, but Hello, started early, I see. How was your rest? Uh, it was great. Thank you so much for asking. It was lovely. I got my hair done. I'm a happy cat. It's good times. The butterfly touched your hand. It did. Getting used to the controller support is going to take some time to get used to. It's different than PGR controller support. If I fail 50 50 for Shockey Bird Leash, I hope I get either Chingli or Yinlin. Uh, you can't get those characters from 50 50. Um, if, you, if you lose the 50 50, you can only get permanent characters from the standard banner. Unfortunately. The sign says Camellia 172973, recording the blank of flies. Plantasha is truly planted by Camellia. Based on the numbers, she's collected numerous flower species. Despite having thousands, she appears to be searching for one irreplaceable flowers. Oh, okay. It's a peony! This plant is obviously well looked after. The black shrubs were constructed on a huge testite rock, and most plants can only thrive in specific conditions. And these plants also care by for the robots. Care for by the robots. Can you stop trying to climb on this shit? What about these? Nope. Alright, let's talk to the robot. It's just wishful thinking. Well, there's a difference between wishful thinking and just straight up fantasy. Thank goodness you're finally awake. I thought you felt so hard that you wouldn't be able to make it. Where am I? You're at the Bank of Life, as you can see. It's an underground seed bank. Somewhere in the underground area, huh? Yes. Usually no one comes to the Bank of Life except the shorekeeper. Where is the shorekeeper? As far as I can remember, she seems to have never left this place. She used to come to the Bank of Life once in a while, choosing a flower to plant in her own garden, but she hasn't come for a very, very long time. To be exact, it's been 20 years, 5 months and 17 days since her last visit. I need to fix Tetis' errors. Then you need to go to the data hub where the stellar mattresses, I mean collections of stars, are stored. Unfortunately, it's been out of commission for a while now. The shorekeeper has probably been too busy trying to fix it to visit. Okay. If the shorekeeper places a trust in you, then you shall have our trust too. Thank you for trusting me. Uh, Kiyu Money shared your information with us through the Tetis uh, terminal. Okay. I only know how to take care of plants and I can't do much in this situation, but I still want to help with the Black Shores. My home is in crisis. I'll give it to the shorekeeper. Thank you so much. Go straight ahead and you'll leave the Bank of Life. Okay. Neat robot, indeed. Okay, put the key on the base to activate all the mechanisms. Alright. Hello, Mr. Butler. By the way, try this. I also get a new power to help you. Ta-da! In certain underground areas of the Black Shores, you can use this device to open a portal between two spaces. Try shooting it at the data wall. Okay. You can control Q to shoot energy pulls at the data wall to open a portal. Pass through the portal to traverse space. You're gonna create a portal on the back side of the data wall. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
In certain underground areas of Black Shore, you can use this device to open a portal between two spaces. <laughs> Opening passageways between different spaces uses the special properties of the solar sphere. Thus, the Tessie system can hold nearly infinite data. It is akin to a collection of solar spheres. Hmm. Since Tessie's malfunction, the elevator here has been sealed off. Under the key upstairs, we can reach it through the portal. I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die. Woohoo! If the shopkeeper places a trust in you, then you shall have her trust too. Go straight ahead and leave the bank of life. Cure Ar Arwin? The great chain of being. Sorry I was miles away. Welcome, knowledge of s knowledge seeker. You look just like Kumani. You've met Kumani, then. He is the robot administering the Black Shores archipelago. Similarly, each area of the Black Shores underground has been assigned an administrator. I'm Ku Irwin, administrator of the Bank of Life's Centers for Species Conservation. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Things are hectic at the moment. The fate of the Black Shores underground is in your hands, and the shorekeepers now. We'll talk again in time. Okay. Kusolius. A consultant. Why haven't you evacuated yet? When the Tessie system issued the order to evacuate, everyone else left for the modulation hall. So why are you still here? To protect the seeds in the Bank of Life, seeds collected from all over the world. It's imperative that the plants of Solaris be categorized systematically, you see. Besides, as long as the system stands, so will we. <gasps> there she is. Bye, Travanas, take care. This is what the Black Shores really looks like. You're just a projection, right? To be exact, my body is composed of sonoro spheres. And the projection you see is but the shadow of the sonoro. Okay. I cannot leave my post. As the core computational unit of the TESI system, I must remain to ensure its proper functioning. Yet I still wish to be with you. This is the only way. Seeing a sky like this down here is a real surprise. This place holds records of every lament across Solaris. Those that have passed, those happening now, and those yet to come. Here, a plant's lament transformed into stars that fill the sky. How that call be the astral modulator? Does that name have something to do with this place? Astral modulator, guide of civilizations, mastermind of the Black Shores. Before you severed ties with your past, it was indeed one of your names. Perhaps you have a preference. What did you call me? Me. I would call you by your true name, Kitty. I have always addressed you as such, in the past and present, through countless years. That is a necrostar. Once known in ancient astronomy as a black hole. 
The TESIS system transformed data into stars, observing the entire solar east, and discarded data cast into the necrostar. The abnormal frequency you encounter in the positive ratio is part of it, or rather, it is the necrostar itself. Please bring it back to the modulation hole, and I shall correct it. Then the TESIS system will be restored, and harm, harm will be no more. Is she saying that she needs to correct? <laughs> is she saying that the necrostar needs correction? That's crazy. I so much my head. My only hope now is that we're not too late. Go ahead, I am always with you. Okay, let's get going. Though I am but a projection, I've been by your side all along. I have had a good weekend weekend so far, Storm Reaper, thank you. What about you? How was your week and or weekend? Can you stop flying away? Are the two just chilling and working hard at work and waiting for one person to come, but the voice was fantastic. No, you Sounds great. It appears the Necro Star has been successfully contained underground. And the gate is now sealed. Okay. Shuya Kenko. This is probably where I, was, I have to go, so I'm gonna do this area first. That one pesky fly doesn't stop going. Yeah, true. Oh. One Nova, please. Arigato. Alright, let's just grab that real quick. Thank you. Oh, come on. Big boys to fight, indubitably. Come on, they kill me by exploding. What the fuck? It's okay, this can kill me. Thank you. Ku Chase and Kupare. Thank you, thank you, you saved the day. These tacit discords are such a pain. Luckily, we've got a way to get rid of them. 
Queen Nana said you have important things to do. Right, go on then. Leave the rest to us. Madame Beatrice and the agents also need your help. Don't worry, we'll keep this situation secure. Okay. You're safe. It's okay now. I heard her voice. Yeah, she's here. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'm here with you now. Stay with us. The medical team will arrive any minute. I fulfill my duty as a member of the Black Shores. Your effort won't be wasted. We'll restore everything to normal and ensure everyone's safety. Thank you. Please stop them. We will. Have a good rest now. You've done enough. Your actions will shine bright like the stars, a beacon for all to see. What happened? An entire necro store was forcefully discharged into the error cell without warning. The error code spilled out as a result. At its worst, it looked a lot like the visual blood seeping through the ground. We had to seal the underground gate to protect the control room, but someone had to retrieve the key. He did what was necessary, even if it meant risking his own life. I admit I'm surprised to see the shorekeeper here. How's the agent doing? He's severely infected with abnormal frequencies. It could be fatal. It appears the Necrostar has been successfully contained in the ground. Okay. And the gate is now sealed. The agent worked really hard to lock that, pa that bad star up. Indeed. Alright, when a portal appears black inside, it is not activated. To activate it, you must open a second portal to create a connection between the two. Okay. With my abilities, you don't need to worry about this. Okay. So, I cannot activate this. But how do I get that cell over there? Maybe I can go... Is that a, a door I can go through? No. Oh, chest! Ah! Okay. That's for me. Help anyone, help. Help me. What's up, nerd? Fight back. Cool, it's not just for the Black Shores, but for the Shorekeeper and everyone here. Request to activate the Force Link. Ah! Uh, ooh! Max. Thank you. Cool, yo, yo. It disappeared. Alright, give me this. Boop. Boop. Show ya, can cope. How do I get there? The thing is too high. What? There's no really any point in going back here. Yeah, there isn't. Maybe I can just place the door behind and I deactivate it from behind it. Yep, there it is. I wasn't sure if that was going to be possible, but it is. Yeah, no! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so before we do anything, I do need to grab that. Boop. 
And we have another key. Smart kitty. Mm -hmm. da -da. Ah, are we gonna go downstairs? Are you alright? It might sound abrupt, but I have begun to sense a change within myself. More precisely, it's the part of me that rests in my garden. I feel something different. Something I don't know how to describe. It's clear that the agent's condition is terminal. But still, I lied to him. White lies are necessary sometimes. I've done this before, but imitating the you I remember from many years ago. Bye, sorry. You did what a leader must, but when I looked into your eyes, I could feel it. The emotion humans call sorrow. Maybe I should express that emotion in a situation like this. You've learned this from me. Yes. You led the Black Shores with empathy, and it's my responsibility to carry it forward in your absence. But I'm currently unable to fu fully comprehend this feeling. Human emotions are complex. I see. Well, it's our utmost priority to deal with the Necrostar to prevent further harm. The only way to achieve this is by bringing the Necrostar to the modulation hole and initializing it with the Intesis. Does the Necrostar have any connection to the port city of Rishu? This Necrostar is the black hole that destroyed it. When the Lament struck the city, many were unable to escape and were drawn into the black hole. The data you brought back is directly related to that event. Is the Black Shores experimenting on the Lament? Yes, you've questioned this approach before. That's why I aim to change it. How? I have the highest access to the Tessie system. Bring the Necrostar to the modulation hole and I will erase its corrupted data. Oh, okay. Once it's done, Tetis will function as it should, and no one will get hurt again. I mentioned I'm only a projection without physical form. Could you assist me with this? It feels familiar. Did I do the same thing 20 years ago? Yes. I'm here to help and protect you just like I always have. But this time I will bring everything to a proper end. It's okay once we're done with all this. Really? There are many things I need to understand. Of course, we have plenty of time for it. Long enough to talk about the past, the present and the future. Will you trust me? I don't see any reason not to. Thank you. For everything you've done. Okay. Let's go, baby, let's go, whoop! Let's go, baby, let's go, whoop! Let's go, baby, let's go, whoop! Whoop, 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 The object containing the cent- Contain the center is the Necrostar. Okay. According to Parliament laws, use the portal to reach the platform. I've done that. The voices I hear, they're coming from people in another- 
in another dimension. Treasure chest. All right, sorry, I got distracted by the treasure chest, my bad. I'm here, I'm ready. That's it. Boop. Watch out. Uh-oh. Abunai! Abunai! We have been abandoned. What the hell? <laughs> it's blue! It's because it's a phantom version, probably. How did I not... How did I not parry? Come on. Why you... Why the fuck you lying? Why you fucking lying? Oh my god. That wasn't a skill issue, the game is just lying. It clearly saw that I did properly do it, okay? It's not my fault. The, the game is just so loser. What the hell? Super Shish! How did I do? What the? That's enough! Stop trolling me! Boo! There it is! Oshinantayo! No, stay on the ground! Surprise! But I love it! Ha ha! Who's the little baby now? Oh shit, okay. Maybe it's me. I'm the baby. We're back in the right direction now. Oh. Nice. The battle is just nice stabilizes. Frequency <laughs> with you. Oh shit, dude. I just pressed the keys. Lap. The floating device appears to be made out of tacitite. It emits a strange aura. Reach out your hand. And so, authorized access. Operation confirmed. Delicious. Hey! Don't just eat whatever is in front of you. Ah, this looks awful. Ugh, like the worst you ever made. This frequency. What are you staring at? I'm the pyman of this game. It's the one. The one. This frequency has dwelled within you for millions of years. I'll keep an eye on it. We have more important matches at hand. Wait, are you saying I'm not important here? Why did you wake up again, Abby? Because you were about to go up that hodgepodge of who knows what stuff. Go grab something normal if you're hungry. But this? Absolutely not. This thing is like a dark spooky hole. Once you fall in, you'll never crawl back out. Precisely. This is a necro star. A black hole that will suck anything close to it into oblivion. What is this? Like the best hooker? That little creature is able to perceive objects by their frequency. Just as I described, Necrostar's frequency is indeed incredibly complex. Speaking of which, are you feeling discomfort anywhere? Not at all, the black hole doesn't affect me. No, I'm referring to that creature. Do you feel anything unusual when interacting with it? I feel fine. That's good to know. The Necrostar singularity has been retrieved. Let's take it to the modulation hall. I will stand by you until the very end of this journey. Why not after? Why not after? Why not forever? Why not forever and ever? Okay. Investigate the Necrostar remnant! Ooh, this part of best. Uh, uh, let's see. Submitted by Hoda Tefolius Anna. Ooh, there's a girl. Despite the best effort, we may have failed in ensuring the safety of the city's remaining, remaining residents. Despite working with authorities and assisting with evacuation efforts, I can't shake this feeling of being too late. It's at 3pm. We have reached the skyscrapers in the city centre. With flames lighting up the northeastern sky, the bridge there seems to have collapsed as well. We stumbled upon a specialised unit led by the formidable ironclad Brendan, making their way towards the heart of the lament-infested zone. We must advance higher. Those dangerous red flowers emerging, they are pushing us toward the skyscrapers. But the Lament's core is right above us. That black hole. This is a war of attrition. Many of those who found us were already beyond saving. The time is... what? 6pm? It should be 6am. 
The next surgery is about to start. We are currently gathering, gathered in the meeting room on the upper floor of the skyscraper. At this point, we can't afford to be too meticulous. We need at least three peregrine glass gliders to evacuate everyone. Only 13 atropine doses remain. It's getting hotter here. We're struggling to maintain the patient's body temperatures. Support. Aerial support. Headquarters. Requesting assistance. Coordinates have been sent to Tessis. Support. At the very least, evacuating the woman, children and elderly. It's getting hotter. Brendan and his team haven't returned. Requesting support. I can't give up hope. Does them black hole always falling into your yard? Yeah, it sucks. When you have them big milkers, but the only thing being brought to your heart... <laughs> Black hole to your yard, man. What a life. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> moving on. <laughs> Until I must keep my promise. You're not dying on me, shorekeeper. <laughs> I think, therefore, I am. Existence precedes essence. How should that one comprehend this sentence? Hello. Hmm, what an intriguing question. Excuse me, could you tell me where I am? My apologies, I was immersed in contemplation and didn't notice you. This is Eidoscope, a garden linked to the Teti system where the shorekeeper resides. The shorekeeper is here. Well, this is her garden. It's only natural for her to be here. Though she often takes the guise of the Sonoro, she has revealed herself recently. It's been some time since I saw her. As for this garden, it's where she assists Tetis computational analysis in observing the stars. Ahem, the explanation should suffice. Back to the question now. Existence. Hmm, is it real? If it is, what about me? Do I truly exist? It appears there's little point in continuing to philosophical debate with a robot. Perhaps checking on the shorekeeper is the more pressing matter. Indeed. Kiss her. Kiss her! Straight on the lips. Also, I'll take her flowers. Thank you very much. No! I wanted more flowers! No! She's so pretty! No, that's my wife! Oh my god! That's my wife! Kiss! Oh god. Great city crushed civilizations. Nothing can escape it. It sounds the death knell for humanity. Leaving billions upon billions of life lost to its wail. Despair, obsession. Resentment, remorse. These feelings are archives within the Teddy system. Alongside the names of each victim, grasping desperately for a tomorrow that never dawns. But why? Why is this burden yours to carry? I am the guardian of the Black Shores, the core of Tessis. I was created for this purpose. Apologies. I should have controlled my sonar vision. Those scenes, they look real. Have you experienced them yourselves? I was entrusted to lead the Black Shores in your absence. It's through this duty that I can protect you and what you cherished. Though I've never witnessed a lament firsthand, others have shared their experiences with me. 
I've encoded them into observable stars, enabling the TETI system to issue lament alerts. I am sorry. Why apologize? I should have done better. This disaster could have been prevented if only I'd been more dedicated to understanding those experiences and emotions. You saved many lives. I will give it my all, even if I must sacrifice my son or, or myself. This is the only way to protect the stars and you. I made my vow to you long ago, Kitty. It remains just as true today. I will break the shackles of fate. I will unravel the Mobius loop that binds you. I will give my all to honor my commitment. How do I describe this feeling? Is it guilt, dismay, or perhaps longing? Maybe even a horniness, Uwu? What emotion should I express now? And people were shitting on me because I said that she seemed to be potentially uh, an intelligence artificial, an artificial intelligence. They were like, oh, no, she's not. Uh, she's just, uh, uh, she's just uh, a, a life form. I mean, it's not my fault if she says I've literally been created for this and I can't uh, know what emotions are. And I would say, she sounds like an artificial intelligence. People were like, uh, no, you dumb kitty. Yeah, shut up. I was right along. But I love you. I've opened a portal to the modulation hall. This is the only way I can see you. But I think... No, it won't be long, Kitty. I'll use everything I've got. My computing power. My sonoro. Even my soul, if it exists. I'm gonna go back on YouTube. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna answer those comments. I'll be like, Who's laughing now, bitch? Who's laughing now? They were, they were coming at me with the, mm, actually, <laughs> yeah, well, actually, you're dumb dumb. Digitalized Asher Discord are gathering here. Stop bullying! But wait, there's more! Let's go. It's the claw. The Stellar Matrix Navigator. Hello, fair lady. Good, you made it here safely. Everything is ready. We just need the Necrostar's core now. Got it. How are the other agents doing? They've been battling to retrieve the major matrices since the Tati system malfunctioned. The operation is going well. We've also detected the shorekeeper's presence within the matrices. She's been recovering the affected frequencies. We, the Black Shores, always work together as a team. What should we do next about the Necrostar's core? Please place it on the analyzer, and then we can proceed with the remodelation. Lovely. Once it's completed, the data overflow from the Tetis system will cease. Put it there, put it there. I'm gonna put that thing over here. You place Necrostar on the analyzer. Blep. Stellar Matrix confirmed. Classification Necrostar. Not not. Would you like to start the remodelation? No! Yes. Loading backup data from the Necrostar, simulating the poor city of Trishu. It's the city destroyed by the Necrostar. And that's my wife. Backup data loaded, please confirm. 
She's getting up. What's happening? I'm scared. Don't do something stupid! That's the digital entrance of the Matrix. It worked. So to complete the remodelation, just enter the Matrix and collect Teti's redirected data. Not a good door. Don't be scared. I'm scared of her. I'm scared for her. Please wait. I love you. I love you too! What a queen dink! The Teti system now uses less of my computational power since the Necrostar was controlled. I will come with you. I can assist you, Kitty. Please, let me come with you. I must keep my promise. Are you feeling okay now? No. It's fine. I can link with my more sonorous spheres to stay functional. My duty must be fulfilled as long as I still physically exist. I'll be fine. From now on, no one will ever be harmed. Where is this music, Mir? Please, trust me. What is this music? What, what, am I playing Nier Automata? Am I, am I about to, be, to, to have my heart ripped out for the reason? Oh, that music is so near! Oh my god! I love it. Maybe. I hope not. I don't want to be sad. I want a happy ending. In more ways than one. Wink. Hi! The poor city of Rishu, it once embodied the metropolitan dream. Confidence and ambition fueled its growth, pushing the entire world forward. People sailed every sea, explored every land. Everyone had food and shelter, living in peace. Don't spray the kitty! How could you? Their spirits were high, optimism and tall as the skyscrapers. A bright future was surely inevitable, or so they thought. See that brightly lit building? It was the tallest reaching high enough to touch the heavens. It sounds like a time of great hope. And of greater sorrow. It was an era of high aspirations and big dreams. Life had an infinite possibility. Humanity's aspirations soared beyond the stars, searching for the edge of the universe itself. The universe? Yes, because it was there, well within our reach, until the lament wiped everything out. I've never been to this city myself, not even in the Sonoro. You were the one who told me about its rise and fall. You've always been a witness. I remember your smile when you described how prosperous it was. But perhaps you had already foreseen its end and the issues that threaten us today. The city looks safer now. Cocoa? Cocoa? Ara? Cocoa? The lament will strike here in one hour. My computations only recreated the city as it was in its final hour before the disaster. Wait, is this Final Fantasy X? How to imagine such a city turning to dust? The more steps we take, the closer we draw to the inevitable destruction. The moment the lament starts is our chance to retrieve the data. I'm sorry. We could never change history or the future that already happened. As one was already walked this path, what did you experience? How did you feel about it? Does the Tetis system command you to ask about this? No. I ask because I want to know. Would you like to share it with me? Yes, please! I think that's personal music. Yeah, I think it's from Persona 3. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the, the sad kind of music. Oh man, Prison 3 music is so good! It's so good! 
Why is it so good? I don't know. It's a mystery. Leave this domain? Hell no. Let's read the book instead. The stellar matrix of the port city of Drishu displays the record of the final moment leading up to its destruction. Make your way to the summit of the central tower. There you will find one of the sources of the city's lament. The lamentity. Yada! Yada! Let's go! Let's go! It's a robot. What's up, nerd? Hello again. Hello, you. What brings you here? I like you, kitty. Coo -coo 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 -coo. We need its help to get past the blockade. My ability to manipulate portals functions more efficiently within this sonorous made space. Both the entrance and exit portals can be controlled now. Let's give it another try. We're literally playing portal. That's crazy. Tap E to switch a portal type. The tea is served here as a distinct flavor. Must be a good one. Do you like tea? I do like tea, as a matter of fact. Do you guys like tea? Do you enjoy the tea? Do you want to spill it? I do enjoy it. I see. It's bitter. The bank of life preserves many tea seeds. Perhaps we could plant a few in the greenhouse. Or I could store the tea leaves in my sonoro if you need them for your journey. That's not worth your effort. Oh, I see. You have enough on your shoulders. Come on, Rover! She loves you! I... I understand. Bruh, you just broke her heart in a thousand pieces, dude. If I know you will enjoy it, it's no trouble for me. Now I'm good! <laughs> Please let me help you somehow! No, no, no thank you, I'm good. No. Bruh. We have to find a way around this blockade. Secret to key by Secret to key. Secret to key. Oh, yeah. Boop. Come with me, my friend. Oh, come on. Been trolled. There we go. Man, Chang is so pretty, dude. It's actually insane. Hmm. Max. We're nearing the source of the lament. The lament, We are about to see the beginning of the lament. In ten minutes' time, we have time for a quickie. Back then, the Black Shores issued a lament warning to the city. Unfortunately, the lament swept through much faster than the system anticipated. It dispatched all available personnel to assist Wang Long in evacuation. But in the end, some lives couldn't be saved. The bloom bearer named Hoda. Yes, 
She was one of the many casualties. As a bloom bearer, she was on the front lines of evacuation and rescue efforts. Yet human strength is a mere whisper against the lament's war. No life should be lost in vain. You've always believed in this. The Black Shores uphold this belief, and so did Hoda. What should be replicated? Yes, just up ahead. But I'm not sure if seeing her is the right thing to do. Let's listen to the shadows of the past. You're with the Black Shores. Too late. It's all over. Nobody will make it out alive. This building, this building's our grave. A grave of fools who attempted to touch the heavens. What is this, Babylonia? Someone, please save us. No, it's already too late for me. Take my daughter, my poor baby girl. She can still leave. Let me in! Let me in! Don't give up hope, we'll save you. Are you Hoda? I am... I'm a doctor from the Black Shores. Calm down, let me examine you. Yes, and you. Wait a moment, Kitty! It's you! You finally found us! Allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm Hoda, the bloom bearer of the Black Shores. It's been a long time since we talked face to face, my mentor. You've been trapped here all along. Ever since that day, both I and those engulfed by the lament have become part of the black hole. That's not great. The Tetis system later contained it, turning it into a new necrostar. I have always known about this. But the necrostar integrated into the core logic of the Tetis system, so I could not interfere. So Tetis is actually using the lament. Tetis can observe the lament because it understands its nature. The best way to fully understand something is to study a perfect replica in a controlled environment. Tetis has been selectively containing lament sources to drive its analysis of other occurrences. You mean Tetis is using the lament as a tool against itself? Makes sense. It's the only effective solution so far. Okay. That's why Tetis contained this necrostar. Okay. I'm part of it now, but I've never forgotten my duty as a bloom bearer. Not for a moment. Okay. For those in disaster, the name Black Shores brings hope. You're the only one keeping the Necrostar in check from within. I did my best just like you are. The only difference is I'm just a shadow. I've lost track of how long it's been, but at some point I realized that the lament follows patterns and can be controlled. Much like the Necrostar itself. But I couldn't share my theories with anyone. Nothing escapes a black hole. I could only hope for your arrival one day. Despair, obsession, resentment, remorse. Emotions stirred by the lament have torn us apart, much like the tidal forces around a real black hole. Hi, Kitty, everyone. Hi! She has become a shadow, her true self. No, she's dead. But just like the lament itself, those emotions are also frequencies. Tessie's like harnesses, likely harnesses them in order to... It's calling... The Tessie system is attempting to activate the Necrostar program again. We once felt as lost as you do now, but your wisdom showed us a path we could follow. Please, my mentor. Please free us from this endless cycle. Use the gravity. It's the only law from the old world that still holds true today. 
Okay. It seems that Tetsu's system has been hiding things from us. We're still unable to fully explain uh, issues related to gravity within post lament science. With post lament science, sorry. Perhaps that's why Tetis even risks integrating the lament and Equistar into its core logic. But the time is running out. We have to terminate Equistar to complete remodelation. It will be challenging. Gotta use Gravigat. True! Please allow me to accompany you, Kitty. Sure. This is my request as a member of the Black Shores. And it's also my personal request. Why is this Jojo? We have access to this thing. We can break it up, break it up, break it, break it, break it up. Yeah, break it. I like those portal uh, puzzles. They're good. It's portal. Of course it's good. Portal is good. Portal is life. Portal, 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 portal. Hi. Can I get this one too? Boop. Thank you! Shuya Kenko! Severely corrupted data detected. It's right behind this gate. I'll work to stop it spreading. Please be careful. Kitty beatboxing? I did? Kyosukete? Seikakuni? Grappling time! It's grappling time! You do beatbox pretty often. I do. I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. Because I'm crazy in a membrane. Bap bap. Hopes can be fatal. Fatal? Fatal? Oh, fatal! What's the game called? Fatal Frame. Woohoo! Yada! Ohio! <laughs> Ohio, my brother! <laughs> Ohio, my uni chan! Uh, good morning, my brother! Yeah, exactly. Good times. The Necro Star is right ahead. You think the portal thing that they said it can't be done in PS4? True. The pier Wait, what's the portal thing that can't be done? Don't say Star Wars Jedi Survivor won't work on PS4. Yeah, it's releasing soon for it. Fair enough. I mean, maybe it didn't have the technology before. I don't know. Listen, I have no idea. Are you grappling through loading zone? Oh! Yeah, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, we don't know if it's different loading zones. It could literally just be two rooms, one against the other, and it literally just looked like two separate rooms. It could have all loaded up in advance. I don't know. 
But yeah, it did look like it. At the very least. Should I get the new Zelda game? Um, I thought you were only gonna buy Sonic. Target confirmed. Chief Steward. Wow. Hold on. Don't let go! Never let you go! If she sacrifices herself, I'm gonna be real pissed. Dead. Big dead. Oh! Let's freaking go! My wife! My wife! Tell me this story later when we'll meet again. No! You stay with me! No! I knew this was gonna happen. I'm so pissed! I am so pissed! I freaking knew it and I'm mad! She better come back. How am I gonna be a coomer if she's not back? Ah, my wife. You're here. I didn't expect us to find each other here. What do you mean? This is the deepest part of the Tessi system, or sure, just for us. I like this starry sky so much. Long ago, you likened Solaris collected data to stars, the stars of humanity itself. Whenever I gaze at this sky, there is always one bright roving star. Just seeing this star is enough to calm any restless thoughts, it brings me peace. And now, this star is here, right before me. I used to think my duty was to guard the Black Shores, obeying the Tessie system's every command. But you showed me another way. You've shared so much with me about the world beyond, about yourself, about the past, present and future. I remember the field of flowers one saw in Vinaskita, how beautiful those daisies and violets were. Being with you always makes me feel something, something I couldn't quite understand at the time. Is it love? Come to think of it now, it must be happiness. You made me realize that protecting the Black Shore isn't my only duty. Because there is more to life than duty. You should go now. Continue the journey in Solaris and live a life of your own choosing. Now, bitch, you're coming with me, girl. We're not gonna call you the Shorekeeper, we're gonna call you an, a better name. What's your name? What about you? You were sucked into the black hole. It was really hot. Please be okay! Have you forgotten? I am the Sonoru's creation. The Sonoru will never fade away, and I will continue to serve. We shall meet again, somewhere in the future. Oh, we are so distraught. But you promised me that no one would get harmed. I completed the revelation. It shouldn't end like this. It shouldn't end like <gasps> this. God, beat. She's like, I pranked you. The Tetsu system needs a core. You need capable of feeling emotions to function. If the domain's data ceases to be the core, someone must fill that void. What about someone else? Like, what about Alto, for example? Like, we don't care about him. He can, he can, if he can fill that void. Neither you nor the victims in Drishu deserve such a burden. My journey ends here, but yours must, yours must continue. No one will ever be harmed again, just as I promised. Your plan is from the beginning. I knew it! I told you! I'm truly sorry. This is the only way to keep everyone safe. I alone shall bear this price. I'm grateful that to have you here on this shore. I couldn't ask for more.
If I'm not getting a, a good ending, I'm just rage quitting the game. No matter where you go, even to the ends of the earth, the Black Shores will always be your harbor. Don't do this to me, game. No matter how far you go, I will always be here, watching over you. Could this feeling be love? Oh my god, she said it! It must be love. Bayonara! Oh my god! I'm not Danger Boo, chat! I'm not Danger Boo! Ah! I am not happy about this. This turn of events is incredibly heart wrenching. I'm not happy. Come on, I'm still, I'm still coping and hoping and 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 hope. Uh, <sighs> okay, I'm full of opium right now. A black boom imbued with the shorekeeper's longings, holding the key to a fresh beginning after saying goodbye to the shorekeeper at the end of wandering. It grants the highest level of access in the Tessie system. A blade bloom, sorry. The corrupted data is contained, the Necrostar's event arrives in his stable, and the data hub is back online. We did it! The Tessie system is back online. The rover! You did it! Wait, where's the shorekeeper? Wasn't she with you? She sacrificed herself to the black hole to save me. What? But she has admin access to the Tessie system. How could she just disappear like that? No, that can't be right. The black hole. Wait, what if she's still in the process of falling? What do you mean? Gravity is the only pre-element law of physics that still holds true today! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Someone once told me that the law of gravity from the old world still holds true today. Object will stay in perpetual free fall inside a black hole. You mean... Oh, I get it. We might still see her on the black hole surface. This is unprecedented. We've never considered observing a necrostar before. But I remember about similar, reading about similar theories in ancient texts. It might just work. Attention all units. Observation targets is now the Necrostar. Deploy all available equipment. Understood. It will take some time. No! I give you 10 minutes tops! We must save the Shorekeeper at all costs. The Black Shores can't afford to lose her. I don't care about the fucking Black Shore. I can't afford to lose her. She's my wife! We just got married! It was super hot and very romantic. I loved it. It was great. Never let you go. I swear to God, if we don't... No way. We are saving her. She's been watching over us all along. We'll bring her back, no matter how long it takes. Ma'am, we've pinpointed the showkeeper's location in Tetis. <gasps> and not just her, we've identified the relative position of everyone captured by the black hole beyond the event horizon. To rescue them from the Necro Star, we'll have to redesign it using the principles of the new world. In other words, we must fight against the Tetis system. But the Tetis system's programming is impeccable, almost otherworldly. Is it really possible to do that? Besides, we still need a deco. Oh, I just saw she actually has a Tetis mark. I'll do it. It's too risky, I don't care. We can't be sure if the rescue will succeed, and we can't afford to lose another member. I don't care! And there isn't, there isn't anyone with higher accent than the shorekeeper. Tessie's confirm my access. Tessie's like, yes, master. <laughs> uh, that was a long time ago. In summary, your effort have failed. Both the blast system, test system, and this unit confirmed this assessment. Over the past something year, the disaster has destroyed over 80% of effective man-made structures and killed more than half of the global population. After all countermeasures proved ineffective, the TESI system and this unit began feasibility testing of Plan 3 based on the TESI Institute report. It might be not the TESI system here, then. Throughout these years, we have successfully completed the preservation, containment, and analysis phases, thus meeting the preliminary conditions required for Plan 3. However, recent data indicate that these time ripples generated by the disaster are converging on our current space-time, with the disturbance intensity increasing in direct proportions to temporal progression. Projections suggest that within X years, this disturbance will result in a 15-degree negative deviation from the baseline, likely surpassing it. Under these circumstances, Plan 3 poses a significant risk. Event A within this space-time could become an absolute outlier from Event O, 
severing the, co the causal connection between the two. Such an outcome would be catastrophic, leading to the permanent disconnection of event O from event A. Upon entering the execution phase, instances 1 and 2 will be activated to assist in controlling time and space, respectively. Instance 2, developed from our research on the sonal theory, is particularly optimized for spatial control. No, emotions are unnecessary for her function. That is redundant for our purposes. As long as she endures, once we become an absolute outlier, all other concerns will be irrelevant. As for instance 2, the status system will oversee her management. There is no need for further concern in that regard. Mm hmm. The kernel used by the Tessie system appears vastly different from our current terminal systems. The primary difference is that Tessie's hardware layer is completely invisible to us, and its software languages seem to be from an era beyond our own. The entire Tessie system instruction sets, source code, and language are highly restricted and not publicly available. We are unable to perform any code level maintenance because it autonomously manages all tasks. It's as if it were a natural creation, or it is beyond our understanding. However, my observations have revealed a few intriguing details. While Tessie's code remains tightly guarded, I detect the presence of a stored program logic architecture, a tried and true computer structure. This design relies on a central processor to access stored data and instructions in carried computations. In other words, the Lumen data, which is visualized as stars in Tessie's, must flow through a system capable of reading and processing it. Similarly, Tessie's share the same bottleneck as traditional stored program architectures. Its efficiency is limited by the central processor's read-write speed. Just as insufficient fuel limits the spacecraft's performance. However, it seems Tessis employs another logic structure that integrates the entire central processor physically, allowing it to handle all instructions and data simultaneously. This necessitates a processor of unimaginable power, one capable of managing the data through, uh, throughout uh, the data throughput of something as massive as the Black Shores. Why would Tessis incorporate such a complex logic structure? There are too many mysteries and no answers. I can only document what I've discovered, but beyond that, I am powerless. So I, I'm assuming those two things are actually talking about the, the shorekeeper, right? Man, the fact that she's an AI is... Uh... I don't know, man. Am I crazy? We've been, we've been through too much to get here, but the past is just a small part of a story, and I have faith that the future holds even more promise. That's what I was told. Do you ever feel homesick? Homesick, what is that? It's a special feeling when memories of the past manifest in your mind, or should I call it a feeling of nostalgia? Nostalgia, sorry. I can show you whatever you wish to see with a sonorous sphere. That's not quite what I meant. Is that a smile on your face or the so-called bitterness? Well, I built it from my memories. I believe it should work. A piano. It links to set the system with the stars, allowing you to control it through sound. Control stars with sound? Yes, why not give it a try? Many have perished. Sacrifice is inevitable when the lament strikes. What are we truly fighting for? The lament never ends. What is the purpose? You can rely on me and everyone here. You're not alone in this. When was the last time you took a break? You need to rest. I'm sorry, I can't show weakness in front of them. Put much trust in your companions. Their faith in our shared goal won't be shaken that easily. Thank you, I'm just thinking. If everything is already predetermined, then when we want to change the course of history, there is only one way. Okay. Address the Black Shores in new leader. Confirming access. Kitty, Chief Steward, welcome. That's me, I'm the, I'm the Chief. What? How do you have top security clearance? The storekeeper transferred the access to me in the last moment. She gave you her access? Are you somebody important that we should know about? Yeah, I, 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 I built this house. This is my shit. Wait, that ancient prophecy. In times of great adversity, the shorekeeper revealed herself and support a true leader, who at the destined moment will rise to save and guide the Black Shores forward. You... you are the... It's not important. Our focus now is the Tetsi system. Members of the Black Shores have followed Tetsi's calculations and commands. Even the shorekeeper herself is used as a pawn. But humans shouldn't be treated as mere tools. History teaches us this, and we should never forget it. No system is flawless, just as no human is perfect. That's why we have the right to question Tessie's decisions. Ooh, tell him! In Jinju, I learned an old saying, we can't change the past, but we can shape the future. And my future is shorekeeper. <laughs> it's shorekeeper shaped, okay? 
That's what we need to do now. Learn from our mistakes and build a better future. The Black Shore exists for one reason, to protect everyone on this planet because people are the heart of civilization. We can we can fix broken system, but without people, civilization has no soul. Sorry to jump in, but I couldn't help over re overhearing what you said. Consultant Alto? Shortkeeper shaped? Yeah. And the shortkeeper, by the way, is shaped just like my wife. <laughs> I bring her back. Back my word. You've heard what she said. Attention all units. As the leader just said. Okay. Uh, okay. Readiness level 1 enabled. Switch the Tessie system to full recursive search mode. Prepare to open the transmission passage. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Rover, we're counting on you to save the shorekeeper and the Black Shores. Hell yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit, let's go! Let's freaking go! Yeah! I'm making my way inside the center sphere, gonna meet my wife, bring her back, because I love her so freaking much. Yeah! Gotta go deeper, gotta deeper, gotta deeper. What we're doing now is essentially breaking into the test system. Plus the transmission coordinate. Plus, the transmission coordinates aren't certain. If you're ready, we can start the transmission now. I'm ready. Please get back to us safely. Yes, ma'am! Oh, man. I can't wait to have Camellia working under me. <laughs> Camellia! Uh, yes, ma'am. I need under the deck support right now! Deeper? I hardly know. True. Welcome, Chief Steward Kitty. This is a Tetsi system data cache, used only for temporary storage. Access here should be restricted. This system deduces that the shorekeeper assigned admin access to you. I'm here to get her and the others back. Tetsi system is like, no! Admin access nullified, request denied. The shorekeeper is now the core computational unit. Forceful discharge of the core unit will result in system crash. Um, see if I fucking care. This can be prevented. They shouldn't be sacrificed in vain. Objections. All sacrifices are necessary. Well, time to sacrifice you then, bitch! The purpose of human civilization is to survive. Over the past 10,000 years, a total of 5 global occurrences and over 300,000 regional occurrences of the laments have been observed. Thanks to this system's calculation and the Sentinel's data, we have averted all potential threats to human civilization on Solaris. Individual sacrifices are inconsequential in the broader context of the common good. Vegas Anima! Thank you so much for the sub! I really appreciate it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome, welcome, welcome! A pleasure to have you. Additionally, the shorekeeper is composed of the sonor and is not human. But she has feelings of love toward me. She's my wife. She did say she was my wife. No, she said she was in love with me. Yeah, give me back my wife, bitch. Give me back my wife, bitch. You're just a cool machine. <gasps> She's fine. Emotions are necessary for survival. But this box is an agent. Okay, do you know what? That, that's it. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. That's my peace. That's, that, that, that's my peace face. Give me my wife. Error. Unable to process. Oh my god. I bring them back no matter what. I won't leave anyone behind. You see, I have a very particular set of skills. It allows me to be a bull-headed bitch and I'm gonna get my wife back even if I have to destroy your core system. I won't leave anyone behind, especially not my wife. I want the 50-50 for her. You're giving her back to me. Repeat, forceful discharge, the core unit will result in system crash. I don't care. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Have you tried turning it off and on again? If you crash, return you back on, bitch. 
What's the problem, nerd? A world without this system is doomed to perish in the lament. Yeah, but a world with your system is doomed to have love perish. And we can't have that now, can we? Love must stay true! I'll fix your error. Oh, damn! I can fix her! I can fix her! I've already found a solution. <gasps> Correction, the system is designed to preserve human civilization. Every command is infallible. Hey, SSJ, what's up? We saved the world by holding onto over our humanity. An empathetic supercomputer can't be our savior. A pathetic without the up. Error, unable to process. Last warning, forceful discharge of the core unit will activate the defense program. Consequences will be severe. Bring it on, bitch! Yatta! Get him! Bibble, bibble, babble, babble, babble. Oh shit, dude! Time to face the new boss! I bet. I bet. Oh shit! Yay! The future ahead is frozen in cold silence. Well, I prefer that to the summer. Be careful. Woohoo, big dodge. Another one. Kiyotsukete. Hey, stop! Please, leave here. I ain't leaving, shorekeeper. You're my wife. Get back here. That's it. I don't want to leave. The earth rent sunder, the world reduced to ashes. Oh, look at us go! Target confirmed, Chief Steward. That's a big ass train! Oh! Yo, this is badass! I must protect you. Yeah, well. My story ends here. Oh, hell no. Now you're coming home, baby. You're coming home. I'm never leaving you. Never leaving you. Ah. And about the ladies also. Yeah. Calling my last sonoro. Uh, hell no. Oh, she did it. Time to go and bring my wife back. Oh, those are big arms. I'm super excited for the next uh, elements we're gonna be getting for uh, the rover. Alright. Let's go. Let's do this shit. Let's fucking do this! That's a big freaking hammer, man. Oh! Let's go! Makasete, makasete! Uh, okay, rude. Season A! Beauty! <laughs> You're going down, fallacy of no return! Yeah! Who's the bitch now? Give me my wife back! Fuck off! Woohoo! Overclocking skill? Oh, what does that mean? When enemy is overclocking. Oh, okay. What the freak? Fancy system is a bitch. True. Not even funny like Glados. Just a bitch. At least be funny. This was a triumph. I'm making a noise here. Where was the song again? This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. 
Is he get formatting? Is she trying to format my wife? What the fuck is wrong with that bitch? Oh, you go down. Get him! No, no formatting. Casp! 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 Oh, look at that. She's, uh, she's using the different elements. I'm so upset because all those games like Genshin and this. They always use like all the elements during cinematics, but when you're fighting, you only use one. She deleted my wife! I'm gonna delete her life! Oh! Yeah! Just like fucking Acheron! She split the dimension in half! Yo! Okay, I like some bondage, but I want to get my wife back first. Come on. Yes! The power of love! We won, chat! We fucking did it! We won! Oh my god! Yes! When you hate an action so much, it destroys time and space. True! True! It's time to kiss! And now there's a piano seed. Oh my god. Imagine she lost the memories. I don't care. We can make plenty of memories right now. The first of them is gonna be kissing on the lips. <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, this is so pretty. It should be here. I do what I want. I do what I want. What I want is you. Please hold me. Help me climb. Did we play it during our marriage? God, it's so pretty. She moves closer. G. <laughs> oh my God, this is the prettiest shit ever. From the distant past to the far future, everything begins and ends here. When you establish the Black Shores to unit Solaris, the Tesi system already existed. Later you discover to rely on emotion from the lament to fuel its calculations. Without them, it cannot function. Using the lament against itself is like walking on a Mobius loop with no end in sight. Yeah, it's like uh, violence to fight violence. It's always going to be a cycle of violence. So if you use the lament to fight the lament, there's always going to be the lament. It's not a real solution. We have tried for millennia to break this cycle without success. And then you left the Black Shores to look for other solutions. But deep down you already knew the best solution. It was one you couldn't accept. The solution is me. The two always meant to become Tethys' core. 
If I don't do this, you, as the modulator of this system, will be chosen as the core. I must fulfill my duty to protect you. No! But I want to be by your side. To see the skies you've seen. To tread the paths you've walked. I want to understand what happiness really means. Okay, I guess we're back to crying now. <laughs> when I first discovered these emotions, I didn't know what to do. Don't go in the water, come back. So I lied to you. Thinking was the best choice for both of us. I'm sorry. Sorry for putting you in harm's way. Oh my god, this is killing me! Salvation is about building a world where people no longer need to be saved. This is why we return to this shore. No one should be treated as a mere tool. You're part of my harem. I will not abandon you back here. My wives are very excited to meet their new friend. What? You have so many more? <gasps> and you want me to be one of them? I... We're back at the Black Shores now. Back to our home. Wife number six. I mean, shorekeeper. Welcome home. My shorekeeper! <laughs> Pink cinema! It doesn't get better than this! It doesn't get better than this! You're making this slightly worse? I am. Uh, that's my way of coping with sadness and feelings because I'm a clown. I can't feel emotions. If there's emotions, I gotta make a stupid joke to make them go away. I can't have feelings, that's disgusting. You can keep my shore. Oh, she's gonna cry! Yes. Thank you. My star. <gasps> My shorekeeper. Welcome back, my star! I'll stop that, get the NFL. Oh my god! I can't cope with those emotions! Is this what it means to be in love? It must be love, love, love. Nothing more, nothing less. Love is the best. I gotta go and see my wife again. I miss her already. Thank God she's here. <sighs> she's a little butterfly. She can go around and fly so fast. My precious. <laughs> Come on. Get out of here. My wife. Please don't break. Don't go breaking my heart. Get in the bad try. Oh, time to put a ring on that finger, baby. About a frequency dwelling within you. They need to add marriage to this game. I don't care. I'm marrying this girl. You mean Abby? Yes. It seems to be hungry for something. Oh, hi, my Buddha! 
Welcome home, my shore keeper. Ada? Have you ever felt anything unusual? Abby's been unusually quiet these days. My sonor can sense even the most minor changes in frequencies. So I can tell that there's something strange about that frequency. I will search for more information in the TESI system and share what I find with you. How is the system now? After being fixed, it's executing the master command given at its creation. The core computational unit has now been replaced by a special frequency that shares similar properties as the lament. But this one is more harmonious and mild. What about you? Are you still confined to this place? Can you come with me on the travel? Have sex? No. <gasps> yes! Sorry. I'm so glad I pulled for her. Although I must stay here to watch over the black shores, I'm now able to bath in the sunshine and feel the sea breeze with you. This is what freedom feels like. And love. It feels delightful. <gasps> ah, I love her so much. I know you have your own journey to finish. Not before I finish you, if you know what I mean. Wink, 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 wink. You can entrust the black shores to me, and I will carry out my duty as always. No, I'm gonna entrust the black shore to fucking Angkor and Alto, and you're coming with me, girl. You have the full support of the black shores, no matter where you are. Oh, how far you go. And despite all the many names you bear, I see you for who you truly are. Wherever your path leads, I hope to walk it with you. Yes, ma'am! Oh my god, that was the best fucking shit ever.